bingo, bongo, bingo, boners Must and balls. Bingo. Welcome. Bingo. Hello, everybody. What's up, Jake Paulers? No, fuck off. We're <laughs> Logan Paulers up in here. What's up, Logan? This is Logan here, motherfuckers. What's up, the Lo What's up, Logan Nation? What's up, Logan? How you doing today? Uh, Dab for Logan before, Paul. Before we start, um, I would like to issue an apology real quick. Um, about my actions last week towards uh, Logan Paul. Uh, and my thoughts. Uh, he he privately DM'd me on Twitter. Um, he said that his feelings were extremely hurt. Uh, that either him or Jake Paul, I don't remember which one we talked about. Um, they said that you know they were. It was very upset, very upset about my words uh, because they're avid listeners of the show. We all know this. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I would just like to apologize for making either Jake or Logan Paul uh, um, sad and upset. So, I think uh, I think it was both. We talked about both. We talked about Lo we talked about Jake's wedding, and then how Logan Paul Jake. was a part of it as well. So it was. I, I think they just collectively. I remember then you saying they collectively messaged you because they were like, "Dude, what the hell, man?" And uh, they even apologized for their their wrongdoings in the past. So it's yeah, it's, yeah. It's, they they privately DM both of us. Yeah, it was it was a good uh, it was a good it was a good um. Yeah, they apology. said they said super sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, um, like. Here, let me let me pull up my uh, let me pull up my Twitter DMs real quick. Uh, They're yeah, loaded, uh, so it's gonna be hard to find right out the bat because there's a bunch. Yeah, we I have so many different DMs. People are sending me so many dick pics. Yeah, I have probably about thousand messages right now. It's like, dude, I can't keep up. I only can see so yeah. many uh, so many D's in an hour, and it's hard. Yeah, you you know what? I'll just um. Well, well, I'll look for it eventually. Yeah, we'll find it. You got to scroll through. We'll it's, find it eventually. It's about like twenty yeah, pages you... down. So at this point. Yeah, it's it's really long. It's really hard to find. The crazy know? thing is though, that happened like two days ago, and it's already like it never existed because it's so far down the DMs. I know, right? Shit's just fucking blowing up. People just slide into these DMs like crazy. Oh, all the platforms too, even ones we yeah. don't even have, like like uh, Grinder, Tinder, man. They 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 just find a way. Someone it's like, hit listen. me up on Pinterest. I don't even have a Pinterest. Yeah. It's like, hey, yo, what's up? It's like, man, you're just finding all the man, all the ways, all these thirsty uh, girls and guys, man. I'd it's be, just I be getting dick pics <laughs> on my LinkedIn. Yeah, everyone be thirsty out here on the internet, man. It's just it's unreal. It's crazy. It's a... unreal thirst. Mm -hmm. it should be uh, a game. Unreal thirst. Unreal. What thirst. do you do in unreal thirst? I don't know. Is it like unreal tournament, but instead of you know shooting and killing, you you try to find bottles of water? To yeah. Your thirst. Yeah, because you're in the desert, like at the Sahara, ah. and it's just like unreal thirst, and you gotta, you gotta make water out of wine, essentially, and you gotta, you gotta survive. But you don't have any wine to make water with, so you gotta, you gotta figure it out. You, you gotta, gotta make... make water out of wine. Yeah, but you don't have any wine to make the water, so you gotta use sand and sweat and perspiration and other bodily fluids. Did you ever see Aladdin when they randomly walked up into like a a random pool in a? Um, yeah. It's got, you gotta find one of those. It's pretty much what you're oh, going okay. for. Oh, okay. A like a like an oasis. Yeah, an oasis. An oasis in the Sahara Desert. That's what you gotta find. That looked at you. Look like you were very disappointed in that drink. What? You look like you were very disappointed in that drink of beer you just took. Yeah, it's a little warm. <laughs> I feel like I'm in England. Good day, well, chop. It's been it's been sitting there since uh like eleven o'clock last night. Yeah, that's true. Cause fuck that's it, true. I don't feel like putting shit in the in the fridge. Fuck nah, that. Man. Quick nah, man, it's all drink. It's all drinkable, so it all stays the same. Yeah, it will get me drunk just as good. Oh fuck yeah, well. Uh, anywho, for those who are listening, hanging out, uh, welcome to the Level Listen Unlocked podcast. Rambling. Listening to our random uh, talking. Um, Welcome to Level Unlock Podcast, episode 29. That is right, 29 straight motherfucking weeks. Yeah. International, Mr. Who, Internationals. Who, Mr. Worldwide. Guess who has perfect attendance? This fucking guy. He does. Uh, what would the podcast... What, okay, real talk here, real talk. What would happen if I just text you and Jeff and be like, yo, I can't be on the podcast this week. Like, I legitimately <laughs> cannot. I, I I would what say would it would happen? throw it it, it, would, it would be interesting for sure because it like segueing into the news and like different things I think would be like I feel it it would get done 
but at the same time, it would be very unorganized. It wouldn't be as graceful. Yeah. It wouldn't be as graceful. He's the organizer. James is the James is the bread behind the the butter there. So, um, he makes it all. BS. I'm the PB. I'm 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 the I'm the butter that you lay on the uh, on your bread when uh, you put on like the jelly for your PB and J, exactly. so the jelly doesn't slide off. Exactly, exactly, and that's he's the he's the man behind the curtains there. So, mm -hmm. um, except yeah, he's the one the that uh, too. it is, and, and in front of the curtains too, because he's actually the one that texts me and's like, dude, let's do a podcast. It's funny because I was thinking of it. I'm like, dude, I want to do a fucking podcast. <laughs> And then James literally texts me, like, let's do a podcast. He's like, fucking A, let's get it done. <laughs> so if you never text me, I don't, I don't think this would have been a thing. Because mm -mm. I, I don't think I would have ever, uh, whatever, gone with it. But, yeah, and then we're like, when you want to do it, let's do it tonight. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's fuck it. Let's <laughs> just do it. Let's, let's just, just do it. right into it. And then 20. I got a pod bean I got a Podbean account that I've been spending money on for like the past, you know, forever and not uploading anything to. So uh, behind the scenes news, uh, we are worldwide. We are international. So thank you for anybody who is listening in any country that you're in. Uh, we had six people from the Czech Republic. Yeah. So it's absolutely phenomenal, guys. Thank you very much uh, for hanging out, listening um, and uh, being a part of the Unlocked Nation, the Lock Pickers, the Level Unlocked nation the uh, lock nation whatever you want to call yourself low gang the low gang jake paulers um for shade. <laughs> can we just can we call our fan base like the jake paulers or the low gang let's do it every single one every single yeah, podcast we're, we're, from we're, here low on out. we're low gang but we're not affiliated in any way shape or form with any of the pauls nope not at all nothing to do with them don't even know them but that's what we're going to call us or that's what we're going to call our fan base <laughs> or we should do something like uh Hashtag Danny it. Gonzalez do does. What? Um where he just names his, his subscribers Greg. I like it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like lock pickers because we love unlocked podcasts. These I, people I, are un I, these people are picking the locks that are hiding behind the 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 pure randomness and gaming news. Exactly. They're they're lock picking the news. games and they're uh, they're getting into secret entrances. Things along those yeah. lines. I like it. They're That's entering good... that Konami code. Exactly. Um, Although we can't be called gamers anymore. It might be we might be bad yeah. because of, you know, the the current the current the turmoil current in the news. Country. Being a video gamer or video games in general is bad, but <clears throat> on that. It's um, time for us to rise up, gamers. Let's get it. Get that bread. Always. Uh, hashtag uh, gamers for life. Hashtag Speaking get that bread. of which, gamers for life, so we have an achievement that basically puts us at the one year mark. Um, so we what? have something to look forward to almost at the one year exactly. So okay. I got a hold, hold of the person for um, Podbean. Podbean to uh, sponsor us and basically put us on their main page for an entire week. Uh, the mm -hmm. first one they had, I forgot, I wanted to save it for this to tell you personally. The first week they had is drum roll da, 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 let me do my calendar february 9th 2020 wow holy <laughs> shit that's, that's far away it is but i but was yeah, like that's right around that's right around our one year anniversary yeah, and i was like hey i guess it kind of makes sense because um they're the, every day they'll post on twitter about it and then from there we can share our own we can share the tweets um they're gonna post on our twitter they're gonna share our twitter page <laughs> Um, and if we make a Facebook, we can, they will use that as well, but we don't have a Facebook. You can make a Facebook. Um, nah, it's too, for this, it's too hard. Yeah. Like the yeah, thing I that, like, uh, I don't feel like it. Um, the thing that, uh, the Steelers by the lake, like that's different. They can post videos and pictures of the Steelers mm -hmm. and shit, but like, we really can't do that unless we just post no, we can't. a video of someone says, but to me, that doesn't make any sense. No, um, it doesn't. so we will be featured on the front page of Podbean. February 9th for the entire week of 2020. Uh, she said, uh, basically, um, anytime you log in on the mobile app or the computer, our podcast will be front and center. Nice. Um, I feel that we maybe probably on the on the back side of it, like off stream, whatever, talk about it, update our logo to make it a little more oh, professional yeah. looking by then. Mm -hmm. um, but that's something we'll talk about at a different time, so. So that's some cool news. Uh, basically, guys, this is all because everyone who listens 
uh, contributes. We got six months. Yeah, we got but, six months to figure it out. Yeah, we am, uh, We wouldn't keep doing this if it wasn't for you guys. If mm -hmm. Honestly, if we didn't come back every single week and see all the views, we're almost at 400 downloads. 400, yeah. which is amazing. In like um, six months. In six months. Good. Yeah, yeah, which is huge. So obviously the same people each week come back and listen to it. Uh, so thank you for those who do uh, every single Good week stick listen. Around the real OGs. Yeah. And then for the random person who stumbles upon it and listens to it, thank you as well. So, uh, anyways, I'm Jeremy Captain Geach 15 Captain underscore Geach 15 on everything. Uh, next to me is the one and only James. Uh, People I hate studios on Twitch and YouTube. People I hate 10 on the Twitter. Um, he also mm -hmm. has 20,000 emails, I found out, which is fucking hilarious. But <laughs> anyway, I won't Wait, go. what? I said, and you also you have 20,000 emails, which I didn't know, which is fucking hilarious. The one day I asked 20, you for, You asked me oh, I asked yeah, you for I have your a emails. Bunch of different email addresses. <laughs> I have, I, okay, so I have two Yahoos. I have my, um, my like, fun, like, burner one that I've had since I was a kid uh, when I was younger. Uh, and then I have my professional one, like, my, you know, formal one. For like jobs and shit like that, um, and then I have my you my Gmail for my YouTube, my original YouTube channel, and then my Gmail for the studios. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even including my work one, yeah. or the one I had when I uh, had a website. Yep. And as always, you can find our uh, podcast level unlock podcast dot podbean dot com anywhere podcasts are available now In including, including iHeartRadio Radio. Bum, 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 which is huge number one platform in the world which I didn't realize mm -hmm. that that was the number one platform for oh, yeah. uh, um, uh, podcasts we gotta, gotta get on also, the Rod Burgundy much, podcast like, yeah, yo, pretty, sponsor our stream pretty, yeah. pretty much um, every radio station here is owned by iHeartRadio now yeah. Yeah, and I noticed a bunch down here. They'll have the I, random iHeartRadio like splash thing at the end of it, like mm -hmm. nine, like ninety-two points in iHeartRadio, whatever it is. Yeah. Make sure you follow us on the Twitter at what Jameson. I mean, we usually wait until the end for this, but yeah, I, I know. I figured I'd do it now. Uh, uh, at LVL Unlocked Pod. That's at LVL Unlocked Pod. Figure I'd do a little filler while. Uh... <clears throat> Because uh, if you haven't noticed, we are missing a gentleman, Jeffrey Schroeder, Splash Green Gaming. He is down and out for the count today. Uh, yeah, he had I don't a storm. Think he's gonna be on. Uh, he had a storm in his area, and it fried his um, modem and internet. And he tried to tether his computer to his phone, but it just literally destroys his battery. So, yeah. Uh, anywho, well, how's your week, James? How's everything been? Uh it's been pretty good. Um, I have been mindlessly. What the fuck are you eating? I see a, it's a protein bar. I was going to say, it looked like just a log of shit that you just put in your mouth. It tastes like it. It's so fucking gross, but it's the only yeah, food I have in front of Yeah, protein bars aren't great. Protein bars aren't great. Um, so, I have been... Uh, really haven't been doing much other than... Um, I tried out that HDMI converter from a PS2. Uh, that That'll works work. pretty alright. It looks okay. I mean, it puts it in 16x9. Uh, yeah, that's my wife. For anyone who's not watching the live thing, she's trying to distract James on the podcast by waving her arms and hands in front <laughs> of the screen. Um, and then I've been streaming a lot of Yakuza Six, as you could uh, as you could see uh, on my t uh, Twitter or on my uh, you know my Twitch. You see constant things of, hey Yakuza, trophy hunting. Here we go. My God, is that thing just? I made a huge mistake. We're almost done, though. I am almost done. I almost have. Um, I'm pretty much done. I just need two more sub stories to go. Uh, side quests, one of which has a trophy attached to it. Uh, and then I'll get the trophy for that. So I'll get two trophies. Um, and then I just have to. Do basically just the monotonous shit. Uh, clan Kiryu stuff, uh, the clan creator stuff uh, for it, which is a fun little RTS kind of game. Uh, but I have to do like a hundred battles. I have to win a hundred battles. 
um, which is ludicrous. Uh, I have to raise Kiryu's stats to a natural 300 for each stat. Uh, I think the one of them I'm at like 450 or 250. I mean, uh, which is cr fucking. It's gonna take me 20 years. Uh, I have to unlock all the stat or all the abilities, which is like there's well over a hundred of them. Um, I have to, and then yeah, and then I have to beat the game. Oh, I have to uh, max out one of the leaders for the uh, clan creator mini game. Uh, that's gonna be rough, and then I have to beat the game on legendary. <laughs> so you have but to beat the I, game over again. The yeah, whole thing? on the hardest difficulty. How long will that take? Probably a while. Um, so that's just one game, too. Uh, I am going to be doing it for every single Yakuza and Ryu, uh, Ryu Go Koto Go Gokudan. Uh, studios game so I'll have Kiwami or zero Kiwami Kiwami 2 3 4 5 Dead Souls Judgment and Fist of the North Star <laughs> that's funny so yeah that's gonna be a while that's gonna be a long while before I finish that up uh but it's fun um I would definitely recommend it um I'm I'm experiencing pretty much everything the game has to offer. Um, if there's a game or game series that you absolutely love, I would say a hundred percent platinum that shit or get all the achievements on it. Oh because yeah, because it is so much fun. Just because because in um in Yakuza Six, a game that I feel like I knew pretty well, there was like um there were like too many games I didn't even know were in it. There were like, there was, I know there was definitely one. Um, there was, uh, it's a spear fishing game where you, it basically turns into a first person shooter underwater and you have to like, you know, fish with a spear. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it was hard as dicks, but it was a lot of fun. And then there was one where you basically have to become friends with a bunch of people at this bar and do like different things, um, like different stories and stuff that were just incredible. It's it's definitely uh, uh, an experience that I would highly recommend to anyone who who likes a video game to do that with like their favorite games. So speaking of side quests, I saw a video today. Sorry, mm -hmm. if I'm talking funny. Your this, full. this protein bar is so gross. <laughs> it's so bad. But it's literally stuck on my mouth, my teeth. It's called pure protein. It's yeah. a chocolate bar with chocolate inside of it. And it's just... Would oh. oh. you spill your drink? I almost spilled my drink <laughs> all over my computer. <laughs> um, That would deserve some F's in chat. And it's so hard to swallow. It literally stuck to the top of my roof, the roof of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it stuck on my teeth, it stuck on the roof of my mouth. It's so gross. You just can't get it off. It's uh -uh. like nougat, almost. It's exactly what it is. So I'm trying to, like talk anyway sorry uh, <laughs> i saw a, a clip i'll see if i can find the video but i guess it was i think it was resident evil 7 um what jeff said that's what she said uh, he's creeping in my chat um it was a band it was a band mini game uh, the band footage yeah it was that actually yeah, in the game or that's not a, that's the dlc oh so it's yeah, not actually that's, that's banned. All the DLC. No, they they call it banned footage because oh. like that's wow. I thought it was actually banned from the game because it actually no. said it when I was watching on Facebook. Slides into the video and says this was actually banned from the video game because it was too violent. And I didn't. I just I, I just seen that like is banned footage volume one. It's a DLC. It's the actual thing. Yeah. I was like wow, fucking Facebook, you liar. Um, oh, it's Facebook, man. Yeah, it was like you. Had, their hands are in a contraption and then like. Their fingers get cut off and shit. I don't know if you've seen it. No, I haven't. I'm too scared. Dude, it's fucking crazy. Um, oh my god. So, did I tell you what my plans for my YouTube channel are for the ha for the Hallows Eve? Mm -mm. I don't. Know. I, I want to hear this. So, uh, Mitchell kind of forced me into this. Um, 
I was like, man, you know, Halloween's coming up in, in a few months. What are we going to do for the month of October? And he looks at me. He's like, you know what we're going to do. And I'm like, no, I have no idea. What, what game should we play? What spooky game should we play? And he looks at me. He gives me like this, this just devilish smile. And I'm like, what are you thinking? <laughs> it's like, do I want to know? He goes, you never beat Resident Evil 7, did you? Oh, I'm Jesus. like, no, because I'm too much of a pussy bitch. Those are my exact words, by the way. So he's like, we're going to play Resident Evil 7. And I'm like, okay, that's not going to be too bad. I'm going to have a buddy here. We're going to yuck it up. You got a hundred? A honey? You, you, you're fucking muted, dude. Oh, yeah, I got a quick hundy. Nice. On the side, my side, uh, my side jobs. Nice. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm like, okay, that's not going to be too bad. Resident Evil 7, you know, just playing with a buddy. I'm going to have someone there to not make me scared. Um, and he's like, yeah, but you're going to play it in VR. And I go, <laughs> and I go, go fuck yourself. No, I'm not. And he goes, you're going to play it in VR. And I'm like, all right, that's going to be entertaining. That's going to be fucking comedy gold. Oh, Jesus. I'm, that's I'm, going to be straight comedy gold. So I am going to probably wear two pairs of underwear during those recording sessions. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see that. You, uh, should, do a, you should do like an, like 30 minutes live. 30 minutes live? What do you mean? Like live streamed. Well, I mean, it's just going to go up on YouTube. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that's going to be a fucking treat. <laughs> we just had a, a great comment from uh, Jay Walker 15 It says, us the greatest podcast are you, are you alive. Keep it, up, go, keep it up, guys. Did you, did you seriously just fucking post in your own goddamn chat? <laughs> are you no, fucking I, kidding me right now? I'm Captain Geach 15 Jay Walker 15 happened to be the same last numbers and happened to be my initials and last name. Nothing to do with me. Said greatest podcast alive. That's Keep it your up, guys. alt account, you <laughs> fucker. <laughs> Are you fucking serious right now? And you, you followed it up with a bunch of hearts. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. This guy loves us. That's like if I was to just hop into your chat during this and be like, "Yo, what's up, fucker? This is a great podcast." <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Right now, mate. You ruined the surprise, guys. It was supposed to be like this amazing thing, and nope, you straight shit on it. James was like, "You're not having that glory." Fuck no, you. No, <laughs> I'm just fucking throwing that shade. Just <laughs> throwing the shade. Ah, that's fucking hilarious. When did I Fuck make it? A. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, uh, Jeff posts to my chat, what's up, fuckers? This is a great podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Splash Screen uh, Gaming. Don't know who you are, but I appreciate it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't know who you are. You're, you're yeah. uh, <laughs> just, uh, just some random Joe Schmo in yeah. chat. Your name magically um, happens to appear on my uh, screen above my head, but you're not on the podcast, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that is. That's weird. Yeah. Weird coincidence, right? Yeah, it's, it's super strange. Um, but other than that, I mean, I really haven't been doing anything of note. Um, just working, just grinding, earning that bread, and yakuzi. Yakuzi, yakuzers. Uh, I've heard a lot about this stream slash podcast. Heard it's great from Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I was, is. Oh, so I was I was watching the his little Thursday night thing. Yeah. His Thursday night Overwatch thing, and I was just spamming his chat. Were you? Great. That's fucking hilarious. I played I that like, on Thursday for the first time in a while. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, I, I it must have been like right after I got off. Yeah, I I, I hopped on. It, yeah, they were already playing for a little bit. I only yeah. played like two games with them, and then everyone got off. It was like nine <laughs> o'clock here, and everyone I'm like, son of yeah. a bitch. <laughs> and I was like, oh guys, it's late. And I'm like. At the time, it's only like midnight, dude. I was like, son of a bitch. Everyone had to open and work the next day, so there wasn't uh, that many on it. There wasn't dude. that many, but it was it was it was still fun. It was a good time. I kept um, telling him to pick Hamtaro. Hamtaro. The hamster. 
Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I don't know the name Kata. yet. Everyone says, dude, there's a fucking Sombra here. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> or, or, um... I know I'm just getting killed. Uh, Genji, the ninja, is like, pick yeah. Naruto. Pick <laughs> Naruto. I gotta figure out the names. I was watching Tim the Tapman today play, uh... Overwatch because he was sick of Fortnite, so which we'll talk about later as to ever why everyone's playing other games other than Fortnite right now, including uh, Fortnite. Um, that yeah, he did a competitive. Um, he was it was funny. He was like he just loaded the game. He said, guys, I'm playing this in a couple of weeks. I'm going right into competitive. I don't fucking fear <laughs> there you anybody. Go. Fuck it, yeah, fuck <laughs> it, do it, do it. Dude, they, they, the, My... those guys like they were. It was insane watching that competitive game though. Like oh yeah, it was stupid. wild. It was wild. They're so good. Uh, mm -hmm. um, have you ever watched like competitive, uh, like StarCraft? I've seen a couple. Yeah, it's it's the dumbest thing. Like my mind cannot comprehend oh. it. Well, even like competitive, like um, not Tekken, but uh, games like, like that. Yeah, uh, the FGC, the fighting game community. Yeah. it's stupid. Oh. It's, like my brain can't comprehend it. Like, I don't even want to try, like, Smash Bros, any of them, Street Fighter. I literally think I'd probably get, I, not, you can't get one shot in those games, but I feel like I would. Like, uh -huh. it's just, like, doo -doo 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 -doo, poof, dead. It's like, I mean, I got, a, I got a fight stick for Soul Calibur. I thought I was good at Soul Calibur, <laughs> then I played that shit online, and I'm like, oh, I'm terrible at Soul Calibur. Yeah, I played a, I played a little bit of, uh, the only fighting game I've ever played online was um, Super Smash Bros., I want a mm -hmm. couple, but sometimes, like, when you get into, like, that, those, like, non-ranking matches, when you do the ranking yeah. matches, dude, you get smacked. That's where everyone comes to play. Yeah, dude, you get smacked That's where the big hard. boys go. Um, I'm like, this is insane, and then I was watching an Overwatch um, uh, thing. I, I've never watched, like, the Overwatch League or anything like that, mm -hmm. but I'm assuming it's, like, the same thing. Yeah. Um, it's just insane. So that, that was kind of fun, and I, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I wish I knew... I wish I was a you, little better, you, but... To be good at, like, you know, fighting games, you kind of have to devote yeah. a lot of your life to them. Um, to be yeah. good at them. Yeah, I gotta... I'm, I only play as two characters. I play as uh, the Bastion, which is the giant machine gun, which is, like, everyone hates because it's, like, almost, like, cheating. Um, I play as him and I stay in a corner. Or I play as... Uh, she's a giant, like, met robot that has a shield. I play as her. I've only played those two characters, really. Those are the only ones Diva? I know how to play. Yeah, Diva. There you go. There we go. Um, so, but I don't know. Well, yeah, so I, I, I was on there with them, but yeah, like I said, it was only like for three matches and everyone got off. So, yeah. Um, for myself, though, for this pretty lame week, I am a... Uh... Oh, 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 there is one thing I want to talk about. No, oh, go ahead. Uh, I have been watching this show called Documental oh, on yeah. Amazon Prime. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Some weird ass pictures. Oh that, that's my it, god! Right? Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. from it. That's that's yeah, yeah. from documental. Uh, Walker, do you have Amazon Prime? Do you have Prime Video? Yes. Okay. Do yourself a favor, and watch this shit. Okay. Documental. I have it. Documental. One of these days, I'm gonna find a way. Kind of like that that YouTube like sure. dual stream thing. Yeah. I'm sure there's a site for like Amazon Prime or something, or we'll just sync it up. We can share our desktops. This. Oh yeah, we could. Using, but I would love to watch that with you. Okay. Yeah. Sometime, because yeah. I have been nothing but dying laughing during the entire thing. I don't know how so, Discord will perform trying to share it while playing a video, but it's something we can try. Yeah, we could definitely try it. Maybe we could experiment a little after the podcast. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so it's it's about it's by this one like really huge Japanese comedian. Um, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to start. So I'm going to do something. It's where I'm going to basically, he's going to take 10 Japanese comedians. All right. 10 Japanese comedians and just throw them into a room for six hours and try the The whole goal is to try to make everyone laugh. Be the only person that did not leave, that did not laugh in that room. So to get in, you have to throw down a million yen, which is about 10k. All right. So it's not like chump change. No, not at all. So you 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 drop that that 10k, and it all gets put into a pot. And whoever wins 
gets that ten million dollars. That ten million dollars. Okay. And the way to do it is by as as I've been as I've been calling it, uh, describing it as, it's like Dongan Rampa, but instead of a bunch of kids killing each other in a school, it's a bunch of comedians trying to make each other laugh in a room. I like and that. I've seen some of the some of the pitch, some of the images you posted. It makes you sense. Would fucking <laughs> love it. I have been like sense. every episode I would watch, I would be an absolute just like. I cannot breathe. My stomach hurts. I am in pain because of how much I'm la- <gasps> how much I'm laughing. It is fantastic. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I, I, I can see some of the things. Like I can see it being a bunch of penis jokes and shit. It's oh, like... <laughs> the very first season. The very first season, and then this. Okay, I'll go with both. Uh, so there's three seasons. Each are like five episodes long. Um, but. I swear to God, I have not seen this many blurred out buttholes and penises <laughs> ever. Because, okay, so one of the episodes, they tried to do co- something called the, uh, uh, what was it? The Ain Olympics? The Ain Olympics. I love it. Yeah. So what it was is you tried to present your, your asshole as quickly as possible. Ah! <laughs> uh... So it reminds me of um, the the ball games from Waiting. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, but you try you try to present your asshole as quickly as possible. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um. There's a lot of, especially the first season, because one of the guys is black. Okay. There's a lot of like saucy jokes in there. Yeah. Shit that wouldn't fly here. Oh, I bet. Is it subbed or is it like dubbed over with English? It's it's subbed. It's it's all Japanese. It's all subbed over, but like they have English subtitles, of course. But like, mm, it is. I I can just see your interest level waning. Uh, especially the butthole and penis jokes. Oh yeah, that, I'm all about that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, um, I'm laughing now just thinking about it. It's so stupid. It's so like it's really little, good. Little kiddish, but it's. I've been well. That's all that Japanese comedy is. Oh yeah, oh, I didn't know. Like, I haven't like, seen that, but that that's yeah. makes sense. It's it's like you know, just think back to you know when you were in grade school, on the playgrounds, ha ha, pee pee, poo poo, ha ha, you know. That's that's what their comedy is. Pretty pee-pee. much, it's, it's the goofiest shit ever. I love it. Um. Oh, like there's this one contestant. Um. In the second season, she just comes out and she's like, hey, do you guys want to... It's a woman. It's the first woman on the show. And she just has a bottle with, like, milk in there. And she just goes around and is like, hey, you guys want to, uh... You guys want to drink my breast milk? <laughs> Gross. I've accidentally had breast milk before. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why I got even, like... How do you accidentally have breast milk? <laughs> so <Hold> I don't. Oh. <laughs> so I don't remember exactly how it happened, but there was sure milk in don't. the there was milk in the fridge next to like, I think there was two cups in the fridge. I don't remember if they were like in bottles or something, and like the tops of the bottles are off. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna grab some milk and drink it. So I grabbed it out of the fridge and I. Put it, I took it back, like a whole gulp. Oh my god. That was the most foul thing I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> Schroeder was like, how the fuck does that accidentally happen? <laughs> ah, he's like, you're fucking gross, dude. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even I didn't mean to. Um so yeah, but it was um Hey Walker, I mean like I don't judge. <laughs> I don't know about Schroeder, and I don't I don't know about anyone else in this chat, but I don't judge what you're into, man. You be you be into what you're into, as long as it's nothing illegal. Yeah, I don't know, like, yeah, it, it was it was a while ago, and I, I don't know why I, I thought it was, and I wasn't even, I'm pretty sure I was a teenager at this time, so why I try to drink out of a baby bottle, I don't know. So, yeah, I, right. I just I just thought it was easy, accessible milk. I'm like, oh, quick, quick drink. <laughs> Schroeder like, says, has been a hook since. 
pretty much. <laughs> now, I don't even think I tried it when Nicole was, when we had the boys. Because, like, there's always that, like, curiosity yeah. because I did that when I was younger. So that was gross. <laughs> Shoulders like, you did it because you're hood. <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, we'll definitely everyone's have to... gangsta until everyone's gangsta until they uh, take a sip of the breast milk. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have to watch that through together. We'll, yeah, we'll definitely see if we can split screen, not split screen, but uh, share screen this, or uh, what you used to be able to do on the Xbox 360, the um, Netflix, the home mm -hmm. theater mode. You know what I'm talking about? That was so fucking cool. Where like your it's a goddamn shame they took that away. Your um. Whatever your characters, your avatars. yeah, your avatars would walk into the movie theater and sit in the bottom of the. That's it was so fucking cool. It was the and random you could, like throw. You could like throw like popcorn at the screen, yeah. and you you and your buddy could you would actually share your Netflix screen. You'd watch the movie together, watching Netflix. You both had you both. Well, I think you could do up to five people. Yeah, and you all needed to, um, you all needed to have net a Netflix account. Yeah. But yeah, it was the coolest thing, and then we all you'd all sit down in front of the screen and mm -hmm. watch. It was a it ran was rad. super random, but it was cool at the same time. And um, then they just took it away. Yep. Because we can't have nice well, things. I feel it's because not many people used it because of the fact that your movie wasn't full screen. Your movie had a border around it for to simulate the movie theater. Oh, that's that. That's what it, it added some charm to it. Yeah. Um. Anyways, for my week, it's pretty freaking boring. Uh, I applied for a couple more jobs. Uh, I don't know if I talked about this last week or not, but I applied for... Uh, I think you did. Correctional, yeah, correctional officer. officer. Yeah, and then uh, another police officer thing. I got my basic fit test and written test for the correctional officer next Wednesday. And then I have the, the fit test and the written test for the Pima County Police next Saturday. So... I think that CSO job's on hold right now because I have to get my fingerprints again, even though I just got them, like, up two months ago for the volunteer position. Mm. Um, and it just came back that they needed them. I got notif notified today that they need me to get my fingerprints again because it's been too long since I got them last. Um, ah. And I asked why, and I was like, what do you mean it's been too long? I, I didn't think I had to. And the guy I talked to was like, yeah, I didn't think so either, but you do, unfortunately. <laughs> um, because it's a paid position that it's been too long, and they want to make sure nothing's changed in between now and then. And I, okay. I didn't think your fingerprints changed. I mean, but... I guess you can burn them off. Yeah, I guess. You can distort them, you know. I guess. But I don't know why, if you're trying to be a cop, you'd do that. But I guess you want to make sure. Yeah, accidents. They want to make sure you're being ethical and shit. I guess so. Um, accidents happen. Did the Thursday night thing with Schroeder. Me and you played Apex uh, two times this week, last week. First time we was fucking phenomenal. Second last night, other than one, we had one good game. The rest were pretty shit. Yeah, um, it, it wasn't good. But you'll have that though. <laughs> uh, we're ranking up in the system, and I do have some Apex news about the. Updates that are coming down, which would be pretty cool. So, some some changes there. But other than that, it's been a pretty super freaking boring week. Waiting to get into this house. Um, yep. Because then I'll have my own room. And I won't feel bad for streaming when Nicole's sleeping. So, she's also going to nights for a couple, for a little bit too. So, that'll help my streaming. Yeah. Um, Because usually she works at 7.30 in the morning and I'm in our bedroom. It's yeah. our uh, bed sheets with pineapples on them. Yeah, those are pineapples. They don't belong on pizza. Um, yeah, they don't. And uh, this is my uh, Top Gear cup. A had alcohol in it. Guess how much this was. I don't even want to know. Fourteen dollars. Holy shit. Um, where did you get that? It's called Top Golf. Uh, it's yeah. uh basically like the new. The new craze. It's a golfing range, but it's like, it's a bar and a restaurant all in one. So essentially, oh, so it's kind of like round one, how it's a bowling alley and a. Bar. Exactly, and the cool thing about it is, so there's different. So you have the golfing range. They provide golf balls. They provide every club you can think of. Really? Um, yeah. And it's a it's a game with points. So there's different spots on. The golf range that if you make it into those spots, you get points. You get a bullseye, you get more, 
and based on where the ball either rolls into or you shoot it directly in, you get a different amount of points. So the circles huh. are the the circles are huge. Yeah. Um, they go from like five. If you make it all the way to the back net, that's two hundred points. It's like, but the the back net's like two hundred and fifty yards. So you have to like fucking whale it. Um, I think the furthest I got was like ninety yards. Um, Ooh, that's it, not good. No, it was a bad day in golf. It was pretty. It was pretty fucking. It was I, pretty bad. I missed I a remember, bunch. Like, I haven't I haven't golfed in a in a hot minute in a few years. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was when the first was the time Boston ever... Marathon bombing? Ten years ago, I think. At this no, five years ago. No, five years ago. That's yeah. the last time I went golfing. Yeah, because I was remember the... getting my my phone blowing up. Yeah, because it was just the no interview. It was the five year really. end. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Um yeah, cuz I remember there was the th yeah, this year was the 5 year anniversary of it. Um so yeah, we wanted to get a drink and uh it was full of pineapple juice, something else and like vodka. It was 14 bucks. Jesus Christ. It had, a, had a cool cup. Yeah, a little cool cup out of it. Um but uh yeah, it, it was it's cool. It's it's mean only mean the Cole went, but honestly, it's this is something where you need to have like a group of people. We were the only, there was like another group of two people, but everyone else had like four, five, seven, eight people. Like they, their table was full and they wow. just took, they, they would take it. They would golf a couple, go back, drink, eat food. Someone else would go up and then ba yeah, it's a game. So basically huh. at the end you can do, di you can do different ones where you can, whoever ends with the most points wins, whoever <laughs> you can, do the different targets, um, and then after nine o'clock, when the sun goes down, the targets light up even more. Oh, that's cool! And they start kind of like glowing and like flashing, and the music gets louder. The lights go down. It's almost like glow bowling, but it's golfing. Nice. Yeah. So uh, Schroeder said you should have just pretended you were aiming for areolas. <laughs> yeah, I said potato. <laughs> I said oh, that's funny. Yeah, no, dude, it, it was so bad. I think a couple ones I hit like five, ten yards. It was. Oh, yeah! I, I fucking, I hacked the shit out of a bunch of balls. I missed a couple of them. It was, ugh. whenever, it whenever was I decide to uh, come down there and visit, I'll, uh, we'll have to do that. No, it's it's super fucking fun. Uh, there's three stories, which is cool too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you actually can be on like the third floor looking down. And it's it's actually pretty fucking awesome. Um, and they have the full restaurant, full bar. Um, we got some food and we got some alcohol and stuff, and we were just playing golf. We sucked ass, that. but um, it was fun. But I think like I, it would be way more fun with more people. Oh yeah, like a group. Because it's not like it's not an actual putt putt. It's not an actual like golf range yeah, where you it's just a go driving to driving range. Yeah, it's yeah, it's and it's not go to like practice your shot. It's the, literally just to go and have fun and yeah. Dude, you probably can go if you wanted to to practice your shot, but it, it's not really meant for that. You so. can go to driving range for that. Exactly. Um, but that was pretty much pretty much all I got for uh for the week. Um you want to start with SummerSlam? Get that out of the way? Oh yeah, I forgot about SummerSlam. Yeah, that was another thing I did this week was going yeah, to me see too. SummerSlam. Um uh go ahead. yeah, let's talk about a little bit of SummerSlam. So what were your thoughts on it overall? Yeah, so for those who didn't know, yesterday was the 32nd, I think. I think that's what yeah, they said, so. something like that. SummerSlam. Um I thought NXT was way better. Um, I didn't see it. Uh, Adam Cole and Jarni Gogano had a two out of three falls count match. Uh, you know what's funny? I was talking about that to the guys when I was watching it. I was like, man, we need more like best two out of three falls mm -hmm. or like more Iron Man matches. Dude, it was that match was un godly. It was it was phenomenal. So the first match was a classic wrestling match. Um, it ended it in with Johnny Gargano beating the shit out of Adam Cole with a chair. So Adam Cole got the first victory because Johnny knew the second match was uh, no disqualification match. Because so then he, he then he's looking at uh, no, it's a street fight. So mm -hmm. he's already beating the shit out of him with a chair, kept beating him with a chair over and over and over again. Those two have the most precise super kicks I've ever seen in my life. Um, so Johnny Gargano got the third one, and the last one was um, William Regal's choice, and it was okay. 
a cell ma a cage match. Oh. W with the but you can't leave the cage. The top of the cage was wired and barbed wire. Oh. And there was weapons attached to the cage, including oh, cool. like a ladder. That's like that's some ECW shit. And that's what the crowd was chanting ECW like crazy. Um, there was kendo sticks. They were literally just going back and forth, smacking each other with the kendo sticks. Like, um, it was wild. There was, uh, um, chairs. Johnny Gogano set up two tables. Um, they ended up climbing to the top of the cage. Uh, they both flew off, uh, the cage and went through the tables. And Adam Cole ended up winning. But if you get a chance to see that match, it was... It was unreal. Um, yeah, I'll have to watch it. Like, the, the stuff they do, like the the head spikes and shit that usually you don't see in WWE anymore because of the, the concussion shit. Yeah. They had a ton of those. Um, and those that's the best. SummerSlam-wise, it was, it was okay. What were, um... I liked it. It had some real high moments. Yeah. I agree. I feel like, I feel like it had some pretty high highs... And there were like one or two like very low points, but I thought overall it was a, it was a good show. It was a fun show. I was surprised at the Bill Goldberg match. That was actually entertaining. Yeah, I, I wasn't uh, expecting that. So we were taking bets on uh, how, how long, long it was, was going to last. Last. <laughs> um, so didn't someone in in our little uh, text chat, wrestling chat, go? Didn't they say like ten minutes? Uh, or something stupid Justin like that. Justin Krakowski said it's going to last over 10 minutes. I was, yeah. I was like, bro, that's the longest Goldberg match in history. <laughs> yeah. so, you you want to know what my guess was? What? Two minutes, 15 seconds. Yeah, you pretty much won then. Cause it wasn't like, much. Wasn't it like a minute 40 or something? Minute 53. Someone timed it. <laughs> that's so funny. I will say I was not expecting the second the bell rings for Dolph Ziggler to super kick him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> But though Goldberg Spears, though Dolph sold that, like fantastic. Oh my God! It looked like he got ripped in half. Yeah, that first one and that last one, he sell he sold fantastically. Oh yeah, it was unreal. It literally looked like he got like destroyed. And then the thing with the mic was it was pretty funny. Yeah. You'll never <laughs> so beat you me. <laughs> it's like bitch, he just fucking beat you. Comes back out, does the spear again. You see, I told you you're not mad enough. And he said something because they, they bleeped it. Did you hear that? Yeah. I uh -huh. wonder what he said. I don't know. I wonder what he said because he bleep they bleeped him out. Uh, so we don't actually know what he said. I feel like he called him like a pussy or something. Um, Probably. So that was cool. Um, um, what was it? I was surprised that only, I guess, during between NXT and SummerSlam, out of the 11 titles, one changed hands. Yep, one. And I honestly was not expecting that one to change hands. I was not expecting I wasn't Seth either. Rollins was... to win. Yeah. Um, I wasn't either, but... Because man, now I don't, was... I don't know what they do with Goldberg. Or not uh, Brock Lesnar? Brock Lesnar, because what? Have him sit in the sidelines. Yeah, he comes back. He's going to go for the title again. Yeah, unless they have him feud with someone random. Yeah. Um, that Ricochet... Um... Styles match was fantastic, though. I love Ricochet, dude. I I know a lot of people don't like the whole flippy stuff that he does and how it's not normal wrestling, but it's new age wrestling. It's it is. It's entertaining. It is. It, it, it's entertainment, dude. He's so acrobatic. I I'm obs I love Ricochet. It's he's phenomenal. Um, uh, that ending to it where he does the 540 splash and uh oh yeah um AJ Styles catches him in, into the Styles Clash. Yep. That was great. That was incredible. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Um, and then uh, The Fiend was the best part. Oh, yeah, it was. Bray Wyatt's new gimmick is so hype. And to see that, like, when, when okay, so when Fowler came out, it was buffering. Yeah. Uh, so we, we decided to take a drink every time the stream would buffer. <laughs> I like it. That wasn't fun. I was like, yeah, it was uh, probably trash. Yeah, it wasn't great. Um, but anyway, uh, to see when the lights came on and he was in there in the ring and just the look on Finn Balor's face of, 
I'm the fucking demon and I'm yeah. scared. Well, even the crowd was like, holy shit. Like, dude, that was phenomenal. Like, yeah. His lantern and was a face. The lantern with Bray Wyatt's face on it yeah. was incredible. That was the coolest fucking thing yeah. of the show. Yeah, it's literally got his eyes stitched in the the lantern. Mouth is, open. Uh, yeah, yeah. The old Bray Wyatt's face is Bray Wyatt's yeah. lantern now. And that <laughs> mask is awesome. That was phenomenal. That mask is terrifying, and that's what that character needed. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised he wrestles with it, though. Well, I guess Mankind did. Little, mm -hmm. Mankind I like the, a little mandible claw, the Mandible Claw. Yeah. I get, well, Mankind's I was more open, though, than his is kind of yeah. constrained, I think. I don't yeah. know. I really liked how um, it was basically a squash match. Oh, I, I think it needed to be, too. And I'm, yeah. I'm happy it was because it just showed he, that, like, he it came back. Immediately, and... It immediately gives him legitimacy. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, I'm excited like, Finn, for that. Balor, Finn Balor is a phenomenal wrestler. Um, he can really hold his own against pretty much anyone. I mean, he was universal title for a day, champion for a day. <laughs> First one. Um, and then Seth Rollins dislocated his fucking shoulder. Yep. Uh, cause he's not a good worker. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he was, he's a great wrestler and to see him put up a little bit of a fight at, at like the perfect times. Cause like the only time. Balor got in any offense was that time where uh, Bray Wyatt was kind of like holding his head and was like kind of distracted, uh, like kind of fighting himself a little bit. And that yeah. was the only time when he was distracted. He Styles got or not Styles. Um, Balor got a little bit of offense in. And then other than that, I mean, it was just an in, just just fucking f's in chat just take the l baller no that was but it was phenomenal that was that was a great uh um that was really 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 good this brock lesnar match is, was phenomenal i like that one as well um weird the submission how match was fine yeah that submission match was all right i mean it was it was a very slow pace which is what submission matches should be and i think it was you know great because you know Ric Flair play, uh, did a, a few submission matches in his day, and to see Charlotte do it, and was I, fun. I, I feel like I knew that Charlotte was gonna beat Trish Stratus because I thought that was. Oh yeah. They kept talking that about that was her goodbye match, and that was the given. I uh, it it really put into perspective how gigantic Charlotte is, mm -hmm. how she just towers over everyone, and she's just so bulky. Oh yeah. Compared to everyone. Um. Shane McMahon and Kevin Owens. I, I felt that should have been a no that disqualification was, match. That was a boring match. Yeah, I, I really felt that should have been a no DQ for all the shit. But yeah, it it really it really shows why Shane McMahon does all those stupid stuff, mm -hmm. like all those crazy uh, moments in the ring, yeah. is because he's not that good of a wrestler. No, and I, I think that's I, what it should have it been. It was it was nice though, seeing Shane McMahon wrestle and me not fearing for his life. Yeah. Dude, Kofi Kingston getting chanted. You hear the crowd, Kofi, stupid. Randy sucks. I yeah. was like, I feel bad for that. That was, a, that was a fun match, too. That, that was a good one. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I was not expecting the crowd to be chanting, Kofi, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I am uh, – Brock Lesnar, though, he's – as much as people shit on for me, the, ch the, the champion and stuff for so long, whenever he wrestles a, a smaller opponent – um. The match is really good because mm -hmm. it's. I like the underdog story. Did you see yeah. the pre-show with the Edge? Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, I was like, man, I didn't think you were allowed back in the ring, Edge. Yeah, I, I was and surprised then he did to that the spear. Shitty spear. Oh, it was so slow. That was a bad spear, but man, I can understand it. Yeah, he kind of just stood there and it was just like, just kind of like he didn't even like. Usually he gets like down like his weird. Spear, spear, like yeah. he just kind. It was kind of like nonchalant, like, like I don't want to fuck up my neck. That's yeah. probably all he yeah. was allowed to do. Oh yeah, that was probably it. It was still cool to see. I wish. Yeah, uh, that's why he can't wrestle is because of his fucking neck. Yeah, <laughs> it's fused. Yep. Vertebrae are fused together. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that that spear though. I saw it. I was like, eh. Yeah. That that wasn't uh, that that wasn't the spears of old. To say and then the we, were ta we were talking about um, who had the worst spear. Yeah. I think Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley's up there on Big Show, and he tried to make use the spear for one of his moves. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was. But overall, though, it wasn't bad. Today for Raw, for those who aren't paying attention, for those who didn't watch it, um, AJ Styles faced Seth Rollins. Um, the club came in and beat up Seth Rollins, AJ Styles. Uh, so the match ended. Uh, Ricochet came out. Uh, the club beat up Ricochet. And then Braun Strowman came out to save the... So it's going to be Braun Strowman, uh, um, Ricochet, Seth. Ricochet, Seth Rollins. Versus um, going about the Bullet Club, yeah, the Bullet Club incarnate. So it's gonna have. Uh, I'm. Just, I don't know when that'll be. Maybe at Night of Champions. I don't know. But no, Probably. that can't be because Night of Champions, every title has to be defended. I think. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Um. And also, they announced the TLC? bringing. The bringing back King of the Ring. Yeah. They, oh, did they? Yeah, they just announced that today. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I hope they do um, something with it, because last time, I'm pretty sure someone won. It was just like, hey, you won. It's kind of like the Andre the Giant. Yeah, it was just like, hey, congrats. congrats it, wasn't, it wasn't anything. Well, I mean, you got to think, like, the, the King of the Ring has such a history of, you know, propelling stars. Well, Stone Cold I mean, Steve Austin. Stone Cold, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, I was born. Bret Hart. Yeah. Won it, I, I thought, yeah, one he year. Did. Um, and that's when it really started to jump up. Didn't Shawn Michaels win it? Yeah. Yeah, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold. That that's launched his career. Yeah. The, um, that's that's where Austin three sixteen came from. Yeah, you say your prayers, John three sixteen, Austin three sixteen. I said I just whooped your ass. Yeah, yeah, that's where that whole thing came from. Is yeah, great. Um, yeah, no, it was a, it was a fine pay per view. Um, I was saying it was a good non four pay per view, but a very bad big four pay per view. Mm hmm. It wasn't like good. if this was if this was like, well, it was rumored rules. to be fourteen PG fourteen, but it, they they took it away. Really? Yeah, it, it was rumored to be TV fourteen, uh, for the first time in forever. Yeah. And they took it away and they made it just PG. Huh. Yeah, I mean, if like if this was like a um, if this was like an Extreme Rules, or like a Hell in a Cell or something like that, it would have been a fantastic show. That would have been amazing. But being SummerSlam. No, it's... Being held up there with WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, and Survivor Series. Yikes. Yeah, this better. wasn't good. Yeah. Could have been way, way, way better. Yeah. Um, We'll see. We'll see how they follow up. So, but they're making a lot of changes. Still I won't well. watch wrestling until Survivor Series, so... Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep updated on, like, the news, but I, really, I don't watch Raw or anything. My son today, mm -hmm. though, because he watched SummerSlam with me last night... Um, he came home from school today and asked to watch wrestling. He put Aww. on the he put on the WWE Aww. Network on uh, um, the Fire TV and asked me to log in. Aw, yeah. that's adorable. That's pretty adorable. My mom even put Raw on for him the night, and he was watching it with her. Wow. Yeah. And not even joking. That was kind of cool. Oh, uh, speaking of wrestling on Fire TV, I guess you can get um, New Japan World on Fire TVs now. Really. Yeah, it's ten bucks a month. Oh, that's well, not bad. Actually, it's less because it's nine nine hundred ninety nine yen. So it's like seven or eight bucks a month, and it has an English version. Really? Mm hmm. That makes sense. So you can watch G one. Hmm. And the Super Juniors and all the good shit. The Supposedly good WWE was rumored to try to buy uh, the streaming company that AEW is trying to stream on. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's just fucking petty right there. Yeah, they're... I don't remember the company. Let me that's see if I can find it. That's just being a goddamn dick. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, I don't know if I can find it. That's um, how you know your competition is better than you. Yeah. Where you're, like, resorting to do shit like that. Oh, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, there we go. Okay, it is uh, Fit TV. Oh, Fight TV. F I T. Fight TV. Fight TV. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, they're, they're planning on buying Fight. Yeah, they want to buy Fight because that's where AEW is currently streaming their events, as Same well with as Ring of Honor and Pro Wrestling Guerrilla and yep. um, New Japan. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to buy like that. Oh, that's petty as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, they're in and all the independent shit too. Yep, they're in negotiations. Booker T's 
uh, wrestling promotions on there. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of different MMA, um, boxing, yeah. kickboxing. Boxing. Uh, Muay Thai competitions, judo competitions. So I'm curious if they do purchase it. What ha AEW will obviously leave. They have to. Oh, yeah. But New I Japan wonder would probably just solely go to uh, their streaming platform. I wonder if New Japan or Ring of Honor would try to negotiate something to stay. Um, you well, would you would know. assume the the other ones, the other indie ones that don't have the money, will try to try to would try to stay. They would, yeah, they would try to stay because they don't have the afford they they don't have the name. Yeah. But like Ring of Honor, they can move. They can go on their own. Yeah. Uh, New Japan definitely could go on their own. Yeah, New and Japan then, uh, now definitely can, and AEW. Would. I think the only reason why like New Japan is on Fight TV is to give it a little bit more user friendly access to yeah. the New Japan stuff. But yeah, that there there are negotiations to buy it. And I guess like really serious negotiations. WWE's been like pushing. So <laughs> I have a twenty one dollar credit to pay per view on Fight TV. Nice. Huh. Interesting. Nice, nice, nice. You want to hop in some news? Yeah, let's hop in the news. Do you want to News. Start? Yeah, we'll start. Uh, kind of continuation of the last couple weeks. Our boy, uh, our boy Ninja, um, Ninja, Ninja Gaiden. Um, hey, let's wait for that because I got. Uh, I put it as something funny. If it's the uh, the Twitch thing. No, I was talking about his contract. Oh, some, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, his contract. So uh, Ninja's uh, mixer contract has been, um, has been revealed. Uh, so essentially, uh, his contract is six million dollars a year for the next three years. Uh, wow! That includes, which is fucking insane, by the way. Yeah. Six million dollars a year for the next three years. I'm sure he gets to keep any of the revenue from his donations and that kind of stuff. Subs. Um, they said the potential. Oh, where was it? Um, oh, stupid ad. Please install McAfee. Oh, that's a virus. Nope. Yeah, that's super virus. <laughs> okay. So, uh, over the three years, it is possible for Ninja to make up to $100 million. My God. Is what it is rumored. From one with the contract with Microsoft, the $6 million, that's his base pay. Yeah. That's the, guaranteed money. The rest comes from... Uh, Red Bull. Okay. His merch. Okay. And Microsoft is in the works to do other special promotions, rather uh, a Xbox branded, a Ninja brand Xbox, as okay. well as um, computers. Wow. Um, he already confirmed that he will be uh, playing. Uh, he will be a sponsor of the new Call of Duty. Really? Which yeah. Uh, which huh. I'm assuming Microsoft is doing, as well as he will uh, be playing the new Halo, which I'm assuming he'll probably be the face of Halo. Oh yeah. Um, well, Master Chief's the face of Halo, but you well, know. you know what I mean. Uh, that he'll most likely he's going to be, be in the ads. Yeah, a lot of the ads for it. So, which is utterly insane, and then he'll get the the ad revenue. He'll mm -hmm. get the. Um, the subscriber revenue, which as of today he has one million subscribers on on one million subscribers on Mixer. He's at one fourteenth of what he was on a uh, Twitch. Well, no, those are just people that followed him. These oh, are actual these followers. are actual subs. What was he at with subscribers? Do you remember? Uh, the most subscribers he's ever gotten on Twitch was two hundred and fifty six thousand. He's at Jeez he's over Christ. he's over one million. But you got to take in consideration these are free. These are free yeah. for the first two months. We'll see what it comes out um, after this. So, uh, you talk about a couple things. I have to go get the door. Okay. Alrighty. So, I mean, I don't really want to get into the news too much because um, a lot of these have to do with some things that I would like to discuss with Walker, uh, get his takes on it. Um, I guess there is one uh, that we could talk about. Um, the game Rocket League, this comes from GameSpot. Um, the game Rocket League was recently bought by Epic, uh, the company that makes it. Uh, and they said that they are going to be removing the randomized loot boxes. 
and replaced with a new system that, quote, shows the exact items you're buying in advance. This is going to um, kind of carry into what uh, another thing that we're going to talk about in a bit. Yeah, so there's no confirmation when the new system will be implemented. Psionic says that the system will come later this year. Um, and then more information about it will be shared in the upcoming months. The paid, uh, the ran paid randomized crates will no longer be offered in Rocket League. Psionic says it's clear that Rocket Pass premium DLC cars and eShop or eSports shop items will be offered for direct purchase alongside the new systems. That's how you fucking do it. You know, that's how you do it. You just just have it so that you can buy the items that you want. You don't have to worry about any of that bullshit where, oh, I got the same goddamn item 15 times or, oh, I got this item for, you know, that I'm never going to use. You know, just let me buy the items that I want. Let me just buy the items that I want and not have to deal with any of that bullshit. So, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. What else can I really talk about? Nothing really hugely. I'm just still waiting for Walker to get back. He's sitting in his chair right now. I'm looking right at him. His headset's off. Still just waiting. <laughs> Still waiting. Chat, is there anything you guys want to, anything you guys want to say? Anything you want to chime in a little bit? Please? I get scared when I'm alone. And I got nothing to talk about. Sorry, I'm back. All right. I apologize. Uh, so we just talked about Rocket League removing loot boxes from the game. Yep. Um, Speaking of uh, loot boxes... Um, There's a new policy going on with loot boxes between the major companies. There is. You want to talk about it? Yeah. So, again, this is from GameSpot. Uh, Nintendo, the, the headline is PlayStation, Nintendo, Xbox, and major publishers to require loot box disclosures. So, essentially, what that is, is it's going to have to say, kind of like what it does in certain, like, certain countries do now, like China especially, they will have to disclose what the odds are for getting the certain like rarity items and stuff like that in your loot boxes. So you're not just kind of blindly picking at stuff. You have to basically it has to basically say, oh, there's a fifteen percent chance of getting this item in here. Or there's a two percent chance of getting this item or seventy five percent chance of getting this item. Which is I mean, if we're gonna have loot boxes, I mean I guess this is the best way. Yep. To do it, where they disclose the odds. That's how China does it. Mm -hmm. China, you have to disclose all that shit because of their gambling laws. And this all has to be done by the end of 2020. Mm -hmm. All the companies include Activision, Blizzard, um, uh, Bambi. Um, Bambi? Uh, not Bambi. Uh, Bandai um, Namco? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Bethesda, Bungie, EA, Take-Two, um... Incentive, Ubisoft, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, Wizards of the Coast, um, essentially every company. I don't know. What Wiz fucking shit Wizards of the Coast make? They're the ones that make the... Uh... What do they make? That's, okay. They, they make Magic the Gathering cards. So I'm sure they're, they're, they have, they'll they're have that for like their Magic the Gathering, uh, Magic the Gathering game. I'm sure they will. I can almost so, guarantee it. All of them have to uh, um, abide by this by the end of 2020. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's good. I mean, like I said, I mean, I'd rather have, you know, if we're going to have, if loot boxes are going to be a thing, damn it, this is how I'd want them. Where it's like, it's it's at least disclosing the odd, not just be a fucking crapshoot. Where we have to do, like, data mining and stuff to get it. Ah. Um. What? Uh. Oh, let's see what we have next on the block, the docket. Um. um you want me to go? Or you want to go? You can go. Okay. I need to grab another. So, uh, EA, not EA. Um, ESPN, uh, pulls uh 
Apex Legends tournament uh, due to the mass Because shootings. video games cause violence. Yes. So, uh, according to an email that was sent by ABC, um, the Apex at X Games tournament will not be aired on television as planned. Uh, this, it was scheduled for this weekend, but it has been pulled. Um, EA, Man, fuck that. ESPN, and ABC has made the decision not to air the TV broadcast of the X, X Games Apex um, inter, um, Invitational uh, in response to the mass shootings. Which we probably could have gotten uh, invited to. We probably could have. We're that good. Um, EA, uh, ESPN 2 will air the tournament on three nights in October. So basically, it'll be a replay. That's stupid. Yeah, and ESPN2 is only on um, premium uh, premium cable. Premium cable. That's fucking dumb. Schroeder said, started working on the second season of One Punch Man. Oh, nice. That's weird. Like, One, One Punch Man is, uh, One Punch Man is only on Hulu, which is weird think of so yeah that was I don't know it's stupid oh yeah uh, well, don't you know that video games cause violence take two CEO called um, a disrespectful and irresponsible that the companies um, decided to unannounce that so um, and also to response um, to Donald Trump saying that the gruesome and uh, ghastly video games um, are now making its way into the commonplace, and this is why mass shootings are becoming normalized. Oh, go fuck yourself, asshole. Yep. You fucking carrot piece of shit. So stupid. So dumb. It's the dumbest shit ever. Yep. Dog. I. And the thing is, though, a lot of people agree with them. It's like the fucking 90s all over again. Yep. A lot of people Except agree with them. Except now we have a governing body yep. that will, you know, you know, that say, hey, you. This is there's ratings for a reason, it's, you know. Maybe for fucking better at parenting. It's Grand Theft Auto Three all over again, like Grand Theft Auto Three. It's fucking Mortal Kombat all over again. Yeah, it's too. Doom all over again. Yep. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. Like they're probably like, dude, we've been out of the water for years, and now we're the fucking cause of this again. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. It's but, it's fucking terrible, man. You know, I just fucking hate it. It's like. What about, you know, movies? Yeah, that makes no sense. What about all these fucking... Like, I listened to, like, the radio the other day for the first time in forever. And, you know, like, the lyrics on these songs are just fucking just terrible. Or, like, I listen to a lot of songs nowadays. It's all about just like, oh, I fucking shoot you up, homie. Dog. Pop, pop, scrat, scrat. Yeah, it's so stupid. Yeah. You know? Like, why are people going after the major record labels? Yeah, I have no or idea. Or why are people going after, you know, these movie companies? You know, that are glorifying killing. And they really you know, are. Workers? And unfortunately, you got to include Disney and Marvel in that. Mm hmm Because realistically, yeah, they why kill... Yeah, why, why aren't they going after Thanos? Huh? Yeah, why aren't they going the after Thanos? Kill, exactly. Killed half the universe. Exactly. Why, isn't, why aren't people going after fucking Thanos? Black Widow, she uses she uses guns. Exactly. Um, Winter Soldier, same thing. Rocket, they all use guns. I don't know. I it's don't fucking know. bullshit. You know, it's like beca just because like just because movie or games are kind of the newest form of media. Yep. You know, people are going after them. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid. Uh, it, unjustly. It really is. Uh, speaking of Apex, uh, tomorrow, actually, uh, Apex drops its highly anticipated solo mode. Um, so it'll have solos for the first time. Uh, it's called the uh, Iron Clown Collection is what we'll be dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's that. Honk, honk. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, don't you know that that's bad nowadays, like clowns? Yeah. So, like, that's bad in internet culture. So I, I don't know why that's the name, but it is. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, solos will come out tomorrow. 
and they are hoping for season three that they will have the highly anticipated duos, where they can just have oh, that'd the be two rad. people. So that that'd be pretty that'd be pretty awesome. I'd be down for duos. Uh, Schroeder says when shit. I was playing Rocket League, um, I started turning into a little car. That's how that's yeah. how much. Uh, that's how bad video games are becoming. Yeah, he's turning into the cars, man. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. Like when I play Animal Crossing, I I try to you know pay my bills and you know care for the environment i mean like what the fuck is that shit you know video games are the cause of this stuff you know fuck them um we forgot to mention some movies really quick too uh, and then, sure. and then you can talk about some news uh the lion king is the highest oh, grossing animated God. movie of all time which is weird though to put it into the animated category it's fucking animated um, well, that, that's the category that it's in. It's the highest grossing it animated movie of all animated. time. Well, yeah, but it's also considered a live action. No, it's fucking not. <laughs> it did. It has done $1.33 billion, beating Frozen. Frozen had $1.27 billion. So, that's all the video game. That's all the movie news I have. Nice and short. Good. Uh, what do you got next for news? Yeah, so uh, later this month, we're going to be doing a special podcast for Gamescom. Sure will be. So for those who don't know, Gamescom is the second largest video game event in the world, right behind E3 and right above the Tokyo Game Show. Big, 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 big stuff is coming from here. This is from Screen Rant. So... Um, Gamescom 2019 opening night. No, do not send me notifications. Uh, uh, between, uh, August 20th and 24th, held in Cologne, Germany, will feature 15 world premieres. That'll be awesome. Mark said, uh, um, he can't stop dancing because of Fortnite. <laughs> he can't stop flossing. <laughs> See, this is the fucking bullshit that this stuff's happening, you know? This shit's happening all because of video games. So here are the companies um, that are going to be there and that are going to be there at Gamescom. So we have 2K, Activision, Bandai Namco, Bungie, Capcom, EA, Epic Games, Google Stadia, Deep Silver, Private Division, Sega, Square Enix, Sony Interactive Entertainment, THQ Nordic, Ubisoft, Game Xbox Game Studios, and more. So, Jeff Keighley's going to be there, so you know it's going to be a huge event. Um, I think, so, um, they're, they're, I, th I feel like, because Google Stadia is going to be there, there's going to be a lot from that, and then the uh, um, xCloud. Because they both launch in October. Yeah. So, Google Stadia is actually going to be holding, holding an event. Uh, they're going to be holding their Connect like the day before. So, I guess we could talk about that in the, uh, the uh, uh, Gamescom, Gamescom cast. I would say like they, they might show more Final Fantasy. They probably will show more, about more Final Fantasy VII stuff, but mm -hmm. um, I would we assume. Might learn a, we might learn something about the PlayStation 5. Oh, I guarantee um, you. Halo, for sure. You said Xbox. Something. Well, Bungie's going to be there, right? Bungie's going to be there, so we might see more Halo 5. Yeah. Well, no, that's not Bungie. That's, they'll probably talk more about uh, their Isn't plans that for Destiny. 1 Studios? Yeah. Well, Microsoft Studios, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to learn more about the plans for Destiny 2. Um, now that it's solely owned by Bungie and not Activision. So that's going to be cool. Uh, might actually get me back into Destiny. Hopefully. What, that, what that, the, that was a what super highly things, anticipated game. Mm -hmm. One of the things that uh, they're planning on doing with Destiny 2, now that Bungie owns it, is uh, cross-platform. Yeah, I heard that. Cross-platform saves, at least. So, maybe I can get my friends to get it on PS4 and just play. Mark said Halo is coming to PC. It's in the works. Oh, yeah. So that's kind of cool. It. Makes sense. No doubt it. 
especially with how ninja uh i wonder if he has any influence on that none zero negative that's a negative because the game's pretty much done i can almost guarantee it the game's pretty well done if it's going to be if they're going to shoot for like a holiday of next year release is it next yeah it is next year you're right yeah you're right yeah so the game is pretty well done, at least all the major parts of it. So now it's just QA testing, fixing out bugs, and then adding some features. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, Ninja's not going to have any kind of involvement with it. Um, When's that game come uh, again? Uh, August 20th through 24th. So the first day is, I think, on the 20th. Word. That's when all the good shit's going to be announced. Um, speaking of why video games are bad and political climate, here's from Game Informer. Uh, Walmart begins removing violent video game advertisement from stores. So, oh. And Walmart GameStop's turned. like, fuck yes, thank God. Yeah. Yeah, so they're... They're just, they're pulling the ads for game, for violent video games. You know, even though in a lot of times, in a lot of cases, the fucking gun department is right next to the electronics. <laughs> I know, right? The outdoors. But you gotta think, though, yeah. too, they don't sell, they don't sell, um, explicit CDs. Walmart doesn't. No, they, but they, they sell rated R movies. Yes, that is true. That yeah, is true. so, fuck yourself. That's such That's such a hypocritical thing to do. You know, for Walmart to do. It's like, yeah, we're going to get rid of violent video games. We're going to stop advertising violent video games cuz it causes like fucking mass shootings and stuff like that. But we're not going to, you know, stop selling people the things that they used to do those mass shootings. Yeah, that makes not make any sense. And they it makes sell. Um, sense. It makes negative fucking sense. Five or ten dollar machetes. They owe me cents for how much that makes sense. They owe me at least fifteen cents. You go to their lock. Fifteen cents points. You go to their giant glass thing. They have a five dollar machete you can buy. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fucking dumb. It's like, all right, you're gonna five stop, fucking you know, dollars. Like, really? <laughs> Yeah, so you're gonna stop. You're gonna stop advertising violent video games, okay? All right. Well, hey, how about you stop advertising guns? How about that? How about stop putting like your guns in a fucking shelf, like a display, and stuff that people can just ooh and awk at for the entire fucking time? Yeah. Your huge you know? airsoft section, your paintball section—they're all guns. Yeah. So how about that? How about stop advertising guns on your... Stop putting guns on your fucking website. Like, I can go on to... Let's just go to Walmart.com right now. All right? Walmart.com. Let me look up... I'm just going to look up guns. So... Let me take a look here. Probably like 10,000 uh, results. Yeah. A lot of airsoft guns. That's good, at least. Still, though, a lot of... Okay, here we go. That's mistaken ASG, for real guns. Dan Weston... Oh, that's BB gun. That's BB gun. Well, even BB guns and airsoft guns, a lot of yeah. people can, a lot of people confuse them for real guns. I've seen exactly. many videos of police shooting people over um, a BB gun or airsoft gun that they're carrying. Yeah. No, it's fucking dumb. Um... Oh, they must have gotten rid of them. Because I looked the other day, and I saw clear as day a fucking gun. Shotgun 12 gauge. All right, how about that? Mark this? said you might want to VPN that shit so you don't <laughs> get flagged by the government for looking up guns at Walmart. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, here we go. Pump action shotgun. Powder coated. Yeah, it looks like I could buy a fucking shotgun out of here. <laughs> Let's 
So dumb. So dumb. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's the dumbest bullshit ever. On a note, oh, well. more uh, positive note, uh, you can currently grab an Xbox One S Division 2 bundle for two two nine two two twenty nine ninety nine and get Madden 20 for free. Wow. Pretty exciting stuff. Still wouldn't buy an Xbox One at that price. No, me neither. Um, another console you can buy, the Neo Geo Mini. Yeah, you can. Launched for $140. is now discounted to $100. Um, I need to give it a Neo Geo one of these days. It's got... Uh, one of these days when I can take out a second mortgage, I'll pick <laughs> up a Neo Geo. It's got um, some classic games. I've never played one game on a Neo Geo ever. It's the best place to play a lot of SNK arcade games. Uh, I'm They're one-to-one the... -one ports of SNK games, arcade games. Like, if you want to play Metal Slug for realsies without buying a cabinet, you you buy a uh, Neo Geo. Yeah, or if that. you want to play the original Samurai Showdown or older King of Fighters, like King of Fighters 98. You buy a Neo yeah, Geo, goddammit. Metal Slug, one, two, three, uh, four, five, King of Monsters, King of Monsters 2. King uh, of Monsters is good. I don't even know what the other games are. I've never... I see all the Samurai shit. Ninja the Samurai Masters. Showdowns are great. Yeah. The Last um, Blade. So, Walker, one of our mutual friends, uh, Ben, he has a Neo Geo. Does he really? And he keeps saying, hey, do you want to buy it? And I go, well, what are you looking for? What what price are you offering? And he's like, I don't know. You tell me. And I'm like, well, I need to know what games you have. Because that's kind of the big thing. The games are fucking expensive. Dude's and got he, a collection. Like, I'll tell you what, And though. I keep telling him. I'm like, text me what games you have, and I will appraise them and be like, this is the price I'm willing to give you. And I will make you an actual legitimate offer. Yeah. And he goes, okay, I will. He still hasn't done it. <laughs> he still doesn't fucking... It's been like a goddamn year. Yeah, it's been for you. But no, dude, if you go to his house, comic book action figure yeah. collection galore. He's been downsizing a lot, though. Has he been? I, I know. Dude, fucking... Uh, eBay. eBay king over there. I don't mm -hmm. know if you ever... All the shit he sold oh, like, yeah. for the holidays and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. like a... Uh, Celebrity dies and he has the action figure of it. Yeah, I just sold it for four thousand bucks. Like Jesus yeah. Christ, like, that's well, insane. You... So, depending on what, like I don't know if you know about the prices for Neo Geo games. I already know the answer, and that's a no. No. There we go. Um, if you have something like Metal Slug, I think X for it, that game is like I think eight hundred dollars. Wow. That's awesome. Those classic games yeah. are so much. Some of them are. Neo Geo games are extremely rare and extremely valuable because it's such a very niche market that that's willing to buy it. And the people that do buy it are fucking loaded. Oh, yeah. It's like that one fitness game i think for like the nes or the sega yeah family fit uh family fun fitness or or that yeah, came with yeah. that, that came with like that fit pad and shit like that's worth a ton yeah. of money well depends stadium events yeah that's what it is so there's two versions of it there's stadium events and family fitness or family fun fitness so if you buy the family fun fitness you can get that shit for like nothing okay but stadium events that's what it is yeah is is the real deal. That's the real McCoy right there. That's yeah. where you get the money. Yeah, you can uh, have the pad where you run in place and shit. Yep. <laughs> let me pull up pricing charts. The video game prices charts. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Metal Slug 10. Okay. No, I was wrong. So, Metal Slug X for the Neo Geo... Loose, so just the cartridge. Yeah. Just the cartridge, no box, no nothing, is going for about two grand. Ooh. If you want it in the box, it's about four grand. It's like it's probably double. 
If you want it brand new, it's about eighty one thousand or eighty one hundred dollars. <laughs> That's amazing. And just to put it in perspective on how rare it is, like video game price chart, which like grabs it from all these different like Amazon and eBay and that kind of stuff. Sales and stuff. Yeah. They sell per year on average. One of them sells. Let me look up. Um, That's insane. Real quick. Um, the um, Stady um, events. I know some of those games sold for a ton. Oh, no, yeah. So, so, yeah. Family Fun Fitness Stadium events. So, just stadium events. The expensive one. Uh, according to VG charts. Oh, there's one in eBay right now for $1,500. Um, so the complete price, uh, it's saying about 21000 I don't know how legit that is. I think I think it's pretty legit. Cause I've seen something like that, those lines that some have sold for like twenty, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, here now now it's got me now it got me curious. What is the most expensive game for the Neo Geo? Holy fuck! What do we got here? Oh my god! Turf Masters for the Neo Geo is a golf game. Eleven thousand dollars for the loose. Wow. Yeah. Then Metal Slug Two at about three grand. Art of Fighting Three at about a little bit over uh, eighteen and a half thousand. Jesus. Yeah, it's pretty much okay. So what the cheapest game? Okay, so it, the cheapest game. For the Neo Geo, it's 20 bucks. This is a system that came out in the 90s. Yeah, even still, $20, that's pretty expensive for that. Yeah. That's awesome, though. That's so, yeah, awesome. it's it's expensive, my guy. Super expensive. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, another that changed Let's talk about some rumors. Let's get it done. All I can see is your eyes, and it's really creepy. Your eyes are like wide open. And all I can see were your eyes. I'm doing it so you don't eat me, you don't see me eat on stream. Yeah, <laughs> being professional. Um, even though this is an audio podcast. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so this is from Games Radar. Here's a rumor. Uh, Call of Duty, the new Call of Duty game. It's not rumored to have a battle royale. Nope. In it. Instead, they're gonna release a standalone free to play battle royale next year. That'd be cool. Makes sense. Yeah, PUBG twenty twenty is you still gotta pay for PUBG though, which that was supposed yeah. to that was supposedly gonna go free and never did. Yep. Um Discord has some news too. Sure does. Discord added a thing where you can live stream video with your buddies. So you and up to nine other people and can hop in a voice chat and play some video games. Watch watch one of you guys play some video games. So it's supposed to simulate sitting around on the couch while playing a game with some buddies. Go live, it's called. It's a yep. Desktop application. It launches the fifteenth. Yeah, so what is that? Three days from now. Two days Three from days, now for you. Two days from now for me. Because um, I live in the future. You do. And also speaking mm-hmm. of Discord. Uh, you get the Samsung Note 10. It comes with a brand new app integrated into Samsung's game launcher. It's Discord. Discord automatically now comes with every single Samsung Note 10 phone. Um, the company revealed that it has this chat so you can basically um, hang out and talk with your friends uh, without having to download it. Uh, that, so that was a partnership. Uh, Samsung's partnership with Discord gives gamers a strong reason to pick up a Galaxy device. Um, so that way they can chat with their friends and communities um, that are already in Discord without having to have it load, have it do anything. It's automatically built in, so it requires no loading, no nothing. It's integrated into the phone. 
<laughs> As a man that one of the first apps he downloaded on his Google Pixel 3 was Discord. Yeah. But yet you have to wait I for it to load. Don't, I don't like this yeah. at all. This is why I switched away from Samsung. Yep. Because I was sick and fucking tired of them filling my phone with shit I don't fucking use. I'm sick and tired of all the goddamn bloatware on their stupid fucking shitty phones that you can't get rid of unless you want to have the chance of bricking it. Yep. And it comes on the, the heels of it being considered the greatest smartphone for gamers, hence the Fortnite phenomenon because you well, got that Fortnite what skin. What about the Republic of Gamers phone? What about the Razer phone? Those are actual fucking gaming companies. What does Samsung do? Oh, they make a mediocre monitor and make a pretty good SS SSDs. And yep. M.2s. Yeah, so it's... Uh, Fuck it's, Samsung. I hate their yeah. goddamn... I hate that goddamn company. Yep. So, yeah, they are uh, integrating that into the phone. It will automatically come on it. Um, so that way you don't have to download it, have it load or anything, and you can just keep chatting with your friends. Okay, so what about the, you know, 45-year-old businessman that buys a Samsung? Fucking tough cookies. Yep. Fucker, use Discord, asshole. Uh -huh. I don't like Discord. I'm an idiot and I use Skype. Well, fuck yourself, all right? How about that? Use Discord. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's, it's a weird uh, app to have integrated into the phone. That is so dumb. I, Why don't I, they just put Fortnite preloaded on the fucking phone already? Yeah, They're still sucking off Fortnite's dick. I'm surprised they haven't done more with that since that skin thing they did where they had that yeah. Galaxy skin. Yeah, but, but it's, this is coming on the heels of that to essentially make it, the, like I said, the greatest gamer phone of all time. No, because it doesn't have the refresh rate. No. Or the, or the processing power, the graphic power. Get the Razer phone. Get the uh, Republic of Gamer phone, too. You know? Those yeah, are so. better phones for gaming. I don't get that at all, but... Pixel 4 is going to have 90 hertz refresh rate. Yep. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's going to be better for gaming than the Galaxy phone. So, hell. Uh, speaking of Fortnite, uh, Season 10 has not... Oh, Jesus Christ. I figured, uh, I figured I'd get that in now since... Get uh, it in now! I'll um, uh, Season 10 hasn't uh, gone over well. James, do you remember a couple months ago when I talked about how everyone hated Fortnite because of the airplanes? Yes. So, this is like that, but on steroids. So, they have added what are called mechs, giant robot machines, into Fortnite. That's pretty rad. Yeah, that um, basically you can jump like 500 meters in one leap. It has a machine gun as well as it, ro it launches rockets. Uh, it just automatically destroys any build, and when you jump in the air, you can jump down, destroy a house, destroy anything around you. Um, That's and, pretty cool. I and can dig that. It's got... Every single big streamer furious because essentially what they're saying it's doing, it's giving the ability for Joe Schmo to log into the game that Tifu, Tim the Tapman, Ninja are playing on, get a mech, stream snipe them, and kill them um, with ease. So they've actually all been playing other games. Ninja yesterday played PUBG, Tim the Tapman played. Um, Overwatch, Dr. Lupo played oh, um, PUBG, things along those lines. So you actually can go on YouTube and look up, like, Fortnite Mech Rage or something along, along those lines, and you'll see the streamers flipping out, calling Epic uh, pieces of shit. Um, Tifu went as much to say that uh, um, Epic is absolute trash, um, and they don't listen to anybody, and they're pieces of garbage. <laughs> Every time I hear about this shit with Fortnite, yeah. I I always go back to the one major Fortnite tournament that happens and the people that won were uh, like League of Legends players. Mm -hmm. And when they're on the stage, they're like, "Oh, so what are you going to do now?" And then they're like, "Yeah, not play this game. It fucking sucks. We're going <laughs> to go back to League of Legends. We just did it for the lols." That's hilarious. So, okay, I have I have one one simple way to fix this issue. You want to know what it is? What? Make a fucking game mode that doesn't have any of that bullshit. Yep. 
Like, make your season, like, make that, like, a non-ranked playlist. Like, yeah. non-ranked. And then your ranked mode is going to have, you know, just the core gameplay. Yeah, I agree with that. And, and, and that's what um, the consensus pretty is, because right now people were playing um, in the ranked mode because there is, it's rumored if, when you get 10,000 ranked points, um, you unlock... Uh, you basically get into some tournament that they're going to be hold, holding uh, either the end of this year or next year, but you need 10,000 points to do so. And none of the pro players can win games because they're getting killed by mechs. So, um, yeah, but it's it's interesting. Yeah, a lot of people are All right, it's pissed. time for me to take up Fortnite. Yep. Let's so I can go on stage, win it, and then call epic a piece of shit and this game fucking is trash <laughs> dude i watched the video i would be the one that would do that too i, I would so fucking do that dude, i watched the video tf we doing it he literally stands up he's like fucking epic this game is fucking trash this game is a piece of shit your piece is a fucking shit <laughs> <laughs> so stop playing the fucking game <laughs> it was so funny to see him do that and he gets if up you and walks away. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, all right, the best thing that you can do is just not play the goddamn game. Yeah. Because that affects. Because like I'm sure Epic sees the game like. You know, oh, you know for a fact they're seeing these YouTube videos. Well, no, they're seeing the analytics. Oh yeah. Of how many people are online at a single time, and like if you just say stop playing because you're sick and fucking tired of season 10 bullshit yeah epic's gonna see that and be like well we fucked up yep so <laughs> or they're gonna be like we don't care we still have unlimited money <laughs> yeah i think i think they're gonna be like dude more people are playing now than ever because they can just get in a mech and kill you so fuck you um they were like dude they should fucking just add planes and mechs and then we can fly in the planes and not get hit by mechs so that's how the game will be you have the mechs on the ground walking around and you have people in the planes flying in circles <laughs> I was like that. Yeah, that'd be a fun game. That'd but be interesting. I would love to watch that. That'd be fucking hilarious. So that's all I got for that news. Uh, the last piece of non-controversial news is NBA 2K20, um, for the first time ever, is adding all 12 WNBA teams. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I can uh, dig it. Yeah. Uh, it is was announced today that it'll feature feature all 12 WNBA teams in a separate um, league inside yeah. the game. That's cool. I can dig that. So kudos to them. Uh, That's kind of like what FIFA did with the women's national teams. Yeah. In soccer, you know, like it's you, it's like its own separate thing. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, I hope. I honestly don't know if people would play it. I think people would try it just to see what it's like. Um, I'm sure there are people that are fans of the WNBA Walker. Well, yeah, but in the ratio there, a lot of more people, a lot of people that play 2K play the solo, where it's like you have to build the your character mode. up. Yeah. So That's the only reason I play those fucking games. Um, a lot, like, I would say the majority of people play that. I mean, unlike hockey and baseball, I don't play, like, franchise mode in that because I don't know any of the fucking players. Yeah. Um. Like, my brother was playing. It was pretty cool. I think it was called, like, Street or something. Oh, yeah. Street's it was pretty cool. Where literally it's online, and people are just walking around waiting to join, like, a random, like, three-on-three. Pick three. Pick-up games. It's cool. Yeah. That, was, that was the best part about that game, that um, series, those games. So that, 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 that was actually pretty sick. Um, so, yeah, you have that. Uh, a lot of people, I, I think, for the most part, played for that. So oh, yeah. And, and then the loot boxes, too. Yeah. People love their loot boxes. Yeah. yeah. WNBA will be available for the play now. I wonder if you if you have to pick NBA or WNBA or if you can you pick probably, a women's team versus like a men's. No, it's probably probably uh, women on women, men on men. You Makes can't sense. intermingle. Um but I'm sure it's like how you can cycle through like in hockey or uh in the baseball games. You can cycle between the different leagues. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be like that because I think uh, like the 2K games have like European leagues and Chinese leagues as well in it. That makes sense. I think so too. So that's all I got for that. Any other news you got before we talk about some contra controversies? Uh, no. But can I can I pop off this first one? Yeah, go ahead. 
All right, Twitch did a big fucking oopsie. Twitch did a big old fucking oopsie. Um, so, as we all know, Ninja is no longer on Twitch. But his channel is still on Twitch. So instead of just laying dormant and not being touched, Twitch decided to do what, Walker? So, Ninja has 14... core pornography. Yeah, yeah. Ninja has 14.5 million followers, so... You go to anyone's channel, and they're not they're dormant or not on it just says they're not on but no twitch unless you set it up so you're ho auto host yeah. someone yeah unless you auto host somebody but didn't ninja didn't do that because he wouldn't do that so ninja what his what twitch did is they set his account <sighs> automatically up to auto host other channels and the number one channel it kept hosting was hardcore porn it was a Russian guy that was streaming Fortnite, but in reality, it was a bunch of hardcore pornography. Yep, it was. Uh, they featured somebody else's channel, multiple different channels actually, um, were featured on his uh, stream, um, and uh, yeah, there was a uh, porn, unfortunately, uh, that was streaming on his channel, and he, his phone, his Twitter. Everything was blown up, basically, Ninja. What the fuck are you doing? He, he had no idea. I mean, come to find out, that's exactly what was going on. All right. Walker, thoughts on this? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's so weird. Like, I know he didn't do it. He had nothing to do with it. No, he had nothing to do with it. But what do you, um, what do you think of this whole thing where Twitch is... I don't like, think I don't think it was like somebody shit. high up. I think somebody was just like fucking around on like his channel and like enabled something they weren't supposed to. Maybe not. Maybe they wanted to help promote other channels because he still has 14 14.7 you know, million followers on Twitch, which is double the second person who's in second place. It's double that. So maybe cuz now cuz Ninja is no longer verified uh -huh. Ninja is no longer a partner, and he's no longer verified on on Twitch. Understandably uh, so. Yep. Yeah, the second he announced it, they took him right off. Um, he has five hundred thousand views on his. Um, no, sorry, five million, five hundred million views mm -hmm. on his Twitch page. So five hundred million people have watched him stream. Yeah. And so I'm assuming someone was like, maybe he's not using it. He won't care. Let's just advertise people playing Fortnite. And so, what are your thoughts on that? I think it's like, super shady. I don't think they should have done it. I get why they might have tried to do it because they're trying to help out the community now that they Twitch lost its biggest streamer. That they literally lost. Not they didn't lose all fourteen million people, but they lost fifty to seventy thousand people a day watching Ninja on Twitch that are now watching him on Mixer mm -hmm. that okay we lost that who's going to take over who's going to step up people are still looking at Ninja's old videos let's give let's give some publicity to somebody else let's help some let's help the rando out cuz Ninja was all about helping people he's not going to care so if if that's the if that's what they were going off of i think it's i, I don't personally mind um because there, there's no way that they deliberately found somebody playing, watching porno on their Twitch account, um, and was trying to sabotage Ninja. Like, so I think it's wrong, but at the same time, if they had good intentions to try to help other people, I'm okay with it. But they should have asked Ninja. So I don't, I don't think my, he would have said no. Here's my thoughts on that. All right. So on one hand. Twitch can do what they want. It's it's their page. Yeah. Like it may say Ninja on it, but it's Twitch's page. That's taking up Twitch's real estate. They can do whatever the fuck they want with it. That's kind of like you right now. You're renting that you're renting that apartment, right? Yep. Your landlord can do whatever they want to that that apartment complex because they own that apartment complex. Essentially Ninja was just renting out that space essentially. So I I mean it's 
it's different with like actual houses, but I mean, essentially, it's the same yeah. thing. But if, um, if I but... was if I was a multi millionaire who was renting out apartment, you think they would try to fuck with me though, and do whatever and try to change it, or would they be like, hey man, I got a question for you. Are you okay with this? Knowing that I had the influence to yeah. ruin them. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like you know, Twitch could do whatever the fuck they want with any of my any of the channels. Yeah. Like if they wanted to just you know do something to this channel to my channel right now. They can. Yeah, that's, they why, that's, can. that's how people get banned. Yeah. You know, and, you know, I have no right to say that sucks. I mean, I have the right to say that fucking sucks, but there's really nothing I can do about it because, you know, it's, I don't own this site. But, on the other hand, holy fucking shit, does no one moderate on this goddamn site? Yeah. It's like, okay, so... Look they at all the have... free pay-per-view events that are always streamed. Yeah. I love the guy. I love the guy that streamed that one Conor McGregor fight. Yeah. And all he did was just green screen, face cam, pretended to play on a game, pretended yeah. to use the controller. That's how I watched uh, the last Conor McGregor fight, too. I watched the same thing. I, I watched tried. it on Twitch. Um, I tried. I, I tried so hard to find it, but they were all taken down. Yeah, I found one on Twitch. Um, Logan Paul's fight I saw on Twitch, the one, the YouTube one. You know what I'm talking uh -huh. about? I saw yeah, that I on guess, Twitch. Uh, what's his face? Yeah, I watched that on Twitch. Um, so there's a lot. Like right but now, like you would think. I'm, I'm you just, would think. Go ahead. You would think that if they were going to put, because I can't imagine it's random. I can't imagine it's random who they put on a uh, ninja's page. I'm sure there's some sort of deep learning algorithm that will pick the stuff, you know, and have a purpose. Yeah. And I'm sure that they, Twitch knows, like, hey, this is the next on the block. Or, hey, this is coming up now. Why don't we get a mod in there just to make sure that yeah. nothing shady's going on? So I'm sitting on Ninja's chat, and I forgot to get off and go back to my stream. While I'm sitting here, the stream is off. There's 15 comments. On his stream. That's weird. Yeah, people people were talking in the chat off stream. That's really weird. But I can dig it. I try I, I try to f do it, but I'm not following him on my Captain Geach page, so I couldn't say anything. Oh wait, you mean Captain Geach is your page? It is my page. Oh yeah. What about Jaywalk? What if Jaywalk goes on goes on there? I'd have to. Use my phone, but yeah, I, I can. I, when I'm on my phone, I can go to his page and I can. Uh, um, even though you don't know who Jay Walker is, I don't know who Jay Walker is, but uh, I'll hit him up and tell him to go on it. <laughs> even though you kind of know who he is, then. <laughs> well, I'm just going off his comment from earlier. Okay. Uh, on the All phone, right. on the phone, his chat doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. Chat right here. Chat. Hello. Let's see if anyone responds. Well, well, while we wait for, to see if anyone responds, Gearbox did a big old fucking oopsie. Gearbox slash Take Two did a big old oopsie. All right, so here we go. This is something I pulled up today. Um, this is from The Verge. We haven't had an article from The Verge, I don't think. Uh, I I've had a... don't go on The Verge. No, I think I've had like one or two. Nothing special. All righty. So, there is a YouTuber. Uh, what is his name? Um, Submato. Submato is a YouTuber who likes to talk about Borderlands. And one of the things he really likes to talk about right now is Borderlands 3. So, um, one of the things that happened recently to Mr. Motto here is... Uh, he allegedly leaked out information about Borderlands 3. So, apparently, what he did is there was a YouTube video that led to a, a YouTube video posted by 2K and Gearbox that led to an extension on Twitch that showed off, you know, gameplay footage and stuff and stuff that wasn't seen before.
So this stuff was available on Twitch. You had to do a little bit of digging, but you could find it. Um, apparently, so so what happened there is once once Supmoto posted his findings on YouTube and did a video on it, Take Two interacted with the parent company for Gearbox, gave him seven DMCA strike or takedown strikes for his channel. That's fucking huge. Yeah. They removed his they closed down his discord server <laughs> and sent two fucking private investigators to his house to basically go hey man what do you know about this stuff how did you find this stuff what do you know about borderlands 3 hey we're from take two we're hired by take two wow yeah that fucking so and fucking they have the gall to defend their actions. So, quote, the action we take in is a result of a 10-month investigation and a history of this creator profiting from breaking our policies. <laughs> take 2 and 2K take the security and confidentiality of trade secrets very seriously, a 2K representative told The Verge. The action, yep, and then that's that. 2K is a subsidiary take two, and it handles publishing for Gearbox software Borderlands series. All right. So here is the thing I don't give a flying fuck. Yeah. If this kid, if this dude leaked classified information, all right? You want to know what a normal thinking company does a non-insane company they, you want to know what they do they put it out themselves <laughs> okay no that's a cool company yeah <laughs> that's what a cool company does that's what like capcom does yeah um no what they do is hey legal team come over here look at this shit is this is this breaking our uh our like is this is this considered a leak is this Breaking our policy agreements? Yeah, it is. All right. Hey, why don't you like, write that gentleman a nice email or a nice letter telling him to knock that shit off? All right? How did he get the, the leaked information to begin with? He found it on a YouTube channel, a YouTube video that was posted by fucking 2K. <laughs> and that led uh. it to a Twitch page. Like, kind of like a hidden, like, oh, you hidden have to like, sneak around yeah. a little bit. Uh, t page from 2K and a video on Twitch from 2K. Oh my god! That showed off this stuff, and 2K's like this dude, this motherfucker's be breaking all the policies. Here, yeah, he's fucking man. stealing information, giving this it all out. This stealing information, and it's saying here that apparently, um, uh, it's Jesus. apparently from a Twitch extension called EchoCast, um, that could be used in Borderlands 3 included information, private Twitch accounts that was being used test the feature okay fine that's okay but still you don't go fucking sending out hired goons essentially uh, professional goons to a man's house and no, tell him uh, to knock that shit off yeah, you, you get the people in business suits that are making you know three hundred thousand dollars a year that went to harvard law school to tell that motherfucker to shut that shit down I can't That's believe what that. You do. I can't believe that they actually went to his house and be like, "Hey, they man!" They actually hired private investigators. Oh this my is God. jumping. This isn't jumping the shark. This is jumping into the fucking stratosphere right now. <laughs> like, hey, man, stop leaking our game's information. Okay, you couldn't just uh, hit me up. You give me a phone call. You couldn't have just fucking emailed him. Yeah. I'm sure his information is available on his Twitter, which he took down, or his YouTube channel. He was probably forced to take it down. He's probably gonna probably, you probably told him they're gonna sue him. Yeah, well, that's what you do behind fucking closed doors. Yeah. That's what you do in a goddamn email. Nope, not not these like, guys. Like, if there is, if I had any shred of of like wanting to buy Borderlands Three, that is all gone out the window. Oh yeah. Fuck two K. Fuck that company to hell. I don't want anything to do with them anymore. 
That's wild that they did that. <laughs> Somebody to someone's house. Like, hey, I need you to go fucking interrogate this dude. Ask him how you got the shit. Exactly. Where they went fucking take two wins clown of the year award. You gotta ask the student where he got his drugs from. Who's his supplier? Exactly. This is like a fucking drug deal yep. going on. Jesus fucking Christ. And like, you know, Sub Matto, he, he talked. He spilled the beans because, you know, you have two men coming into your house and being like, yo, tell me what you know. Probably brandishing baseball bats or crowbars or something. No, they probably. that's what hired goons do. They're probably like, yeah, see, just because uh, he lives in New Jersey. So they probably had a thick Brooklyn accent. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, the fact that they were fucking gangster and up. Oh yeah, probably. Jersey. Some Jersey. Yo, what you know about these games, son? Jesus fucking Christ. I read about this today and I nearly just popped a blood vessel. Cuz of okay, how fucking so stupid. stupid it is. <laughs> that's retarded. Like yeah. Submoto started a whole there's like been a whole like Twitter hashtag movie called um it was like uh like cancel Borderlands 3 or something like that. Boycott Borderlands 3. Boycott Border, okay. That's what I'm going to fucking do. I'm not I'm not even going to look at that game. I'm not even going to attempt to buy it. I feel like the and sales you know for it aren't going to be that well. No, fuck it. It's on the Epic Game Store, one. So yeah. no one's going to buy it on PC. And two, you know, it's Borderlands. I mean, it's still pretty niche. And after this shit, fuck them. Yep. I hope Gearbox burns to the goddamn ground. Randy Pitchford is a piece of shit. That's so wild. They sent people like I still can't comprehend that really. That's whatever I guess. Boy, it's been a while since I got this heated on the podcast, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not even two beers in, and I'm getting heated over this bullshit. Well, because it's it's a wild it's story. It doesn't even seem dumb. true. <laughs> it's like one of them one of them things. It's like like no, that's not true. Like no, it's it's a hundred percent true. Like how and why is this real? This. This sounds like an Onion or the Hard Drive article. Oh, yeah. Like, this sounds like something a parody site oh, yeah. would post. That doesn't sound realistic at all. But nope, it's no. 100% real. No, it's 100 goddamn percent real. And you know what? Fine. Fine. You know, at least, at least whenever shit like this happens, whenever someone gets in trouble for, like, leaking something, we can at least... Look at that person and be like, at least you didn't have private investigators come to your house. Yep. I used to know the SWAT team knock on your door and being like, motherfucker. Oh, we got stuff about the SWAT team later. <laughs> All right. right. Movie Pass did a big old oopsie. Are you familiar with Movie Pass? From what? Like, like the app? Like... Oh no, I thought you were talking about like Cinemark's Movie Pass. No, no, that actually is worth it. Uh, Movie Pass is a service that I think it's called Movie Pass. Did I type it in wrong? This is from GameSpot. Yeah, Movie Pass. All right, so Movie Pass is a service where you can subscribe to it for like ten dollars a month or so, and then originally it was like you could see one movie a day out of the month. Any movie in the yeah. theaters. So, huh. hey, that's a fantastic deal right there. Yeah. Well, turns out that is a terrible business model. They have been <laughs> hemorrhaging money from the get-go. They're in the negatives of millions of dollars. For Even what bankruptcy. Sense? Like, no, one, no one's buying it or just because they're losing so much money giving that? They're losing so much money giving out movie ticks. You got to think, you do that twice. You do that one and a half times... And they already made their money back. So their whole model was basically MoviePass would buy the tickets for you. So MoviePass would be like, hey, movie theater, here's the money. They essentially loaded it on a prepaid card for the movie. It was like, here, this goes onto your prepaid card. You use that at the movie theater. All right. So basically MoviePass gave you money to go see this movie. Okay, to go see a movie. Sense. So, that changed not too long ago to, um, 
let's see here. I think now it's like you could see like three movies a month or something like that. And they're not accepting any new uh, members. <laughs> well, that um, makes sense. <laughs> a movie a day. Yeah, so as a report from Business Insider reveals, uh, there's a crisis point in July 2018 when the company temporarily ran out of funds. They ran out of money. This company that would essentially buy the movie tickets for you ran out of money. They couldn't do it. Um, That's insane. Yeah, so... One of the things... Some of the things that they did was... uh, Yeah, cut the movies down from seeing up to 31 a month to seeing three a month to making certain movies like on a no-go list. You can't go see it. Um, big one was like the latest Mission Impossible movie. Did you see the new? I, I just typed the movie pass. Did you see this news right now? Uh, movie pass reportedly changed. Yep, 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 yep. This is where I'm getting at. This oh, is where okay, I'm getting okay, at. okay, I got you. This I got you. is where I'm getting at. <laughs> All right. So here's the big old fucking oopsie that they did. Um, they basically did some digging. Movie pass did, and found the users that were using it the most. And so, you know what they fucking did? To prevent these people from using MoviePass so much, they changed their passwords without telling them. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Oh my god. They changed their password to prevent them from seeing movies so they didn't go bankrupt. Okay, Walker, imagine this, okay? Imagine one day you're about to hop on the WWE network for a big old like Wrestlemania okay yeah only to find out that your account you can't log in your password doesn't work a year later you find out that WWE Network changed the passwords for people who use the service the most because they found out they were losing too much money that sounds ridiculous right oh yeah that's hilarious this is unreal This this was the fucking podcast of the big old fucking oopsies. Yeah, it was. And the thing is, the funny shit. This happened right before Infinity Wars. Um, Yeah, that was going to be on a no go list, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Infinity Wars and uh, Endgame. Uh, Passwords were changed so people couldn't buy it and go see the movies. (laughs) Oh my god! Christ. I guess that's one way to save uh um to save money and uh don't go bankrupt. Well that's kinda like with the Epic store. The Epic Game Store, how they um uh, had some shit on sale and one of the like when they had like every game on sale you save like ten dollars. Um there were like two or three game studios that were like, Yeah, we don't want our shit on sale because we don't want to devalue the price for a game. Because the game would have been like five dollars, dude. If I'd have known they about that, they don't want to devalue it. Ten dollars a month to see a, one yeah. movie per day, yeah. in theaters. Yeah, it's ridiculous. One movie per day. Yeah, they did switch it to three per month now. Yeah, but that's like the Epic Game Store. How there were developers that were complaining because, like, smaller developers that were complaining because their games were on sale and Epic didn't tell them. So because they didn't implement a thing on their store to take things off sale, they just removed the shit from the sale, from the store. Yep. Unreal. It's like the same goddamn thing. I can't fucking believe this week. No. (laughs) We had, so the new record is three oopsies in a week. Yep. Can we get to four next week? Can we have four oopsies next week? We probably will. Why Jesus fucking Christ. All right. So the last thing that I have. Again, from GameSpot. That's a weird quote. What? Um, so you guys know about... Uh, you guys know about the Fortnite World Cup champion, right? Fucking, uh, what's-his-face, Booga? Kyle Booga 
Giersdorf. He was the 16-year-old that won the uh, Fortnite World Cup. Um, won, like, a bagillion dollars. Like, way too much money for a fucking 16-year-old to have. And I'm stalling right now because I want Walker to hear this. Because I think he'll he'll find this funny. Okay, it's sorry, I was talking fun. to my... You're talking about Booga. Yeah, so... Booga, Ooga Booga Booga. Um... Is that racist? That sounded a little racist. Ooga Booga. Oogie Boogie. Oh, it's Oogie Boogie. That's what it is. Well, but... I was thinking, like, uh, you stupid dog, Ooga Booga Booga, from uh, Courage to Cowardly Dog. How is that racist? What use this? I don't know. That just sounds racist. <laughs> it's like something a 1940s, like, like movie, like a 1940s talkie would say, like, when uh, when they're in, like, the African jungle. Yeah, no, that's um, Oogie Boogie. Yeah, no, it's oh, not okay. racist at all. It just it could be it. nowadays. Who knows? It could be nowadays. Who Everything's knows? racist. Or it could or it could have been now. It could have been racist back then. Who knows? It's true. Um. But yeah. So, uh, Booga got fucking swatted. This sixteen-year-old kid got swatted. What does that mean? All right. So that's when someone finds out where you live and fucking calls the police and was like this, <laughs> this dude's like murdering someone or there this dude's like out of the rails i see so this, that this kid got fucking swatted while streaming on twitch while streaming <laughs> yes now this isn't cool for many a reasons many a many a reasons they had guns One, it's yeah no they come to this scene there was a dude that died last year because someone some piece of shit swatted a dude over a call of duty argument and the dude came out to like guns drawn and you know he made one wrong move yeah and just got fucking lit up by the cops uh, a similar incident happened two years ago that led to a death in wichita kansas yeah um his address was given incorrectly by police by a man who reported him having a fake hostage after having an argument in game of Call of Duty. Uh, the man at home came out of the house, dropped his hands unexpectedly to, to itch or something, and police, uh, sh all the police there shot and killed him. Mm -hmm. um, the person who called in was issued to 20 years in prison um, and pled uh, guilty on all charges. Yeah. So wow. this is wrong on so many levels. Because one, yes, anyone in that household could have gotten fucking killed. Oh, there's kids, anybody, like Yeah. Literally anyone. Kids, dogs, animals, you know, anything like that. Human lives or, you know, lives could have been lost. Yeah, he All said, because someone wanted to play a fucking joke. Yeah, they said they broke into his house, guns blazing, and it was scary. Um, and he said, "What if I just, what if I just ended up getting popped?" Exactly. What would have happened then? You know, this kid in the prime of his life would have been Yo, shot I mean, now down. You're, you're so because some yeah, fucking uh, piece of no shit yeah, decided, gotta, yeah, "Hey, this would be a funny no joke." No way. No, yeah. I want to see, I'm trying to find the video to see if I can... They pulled up, like... Hold on. So, video and here. here's... Like, and here's number planning? two. Yeah, I'm good. Number two on the right, like multitude game, of reasons up. why this is fucked up. This is taking precious time away from, you know, members of the police force... Well, they're wasting that could their be time. going off doing something else. Well, the fact that it's the, an entire SWAT team. Yes! Because it, apparently, like, when you SWAT someone... You say that it's fucking serious. Oh, like yeah. You, there's a reason it's called swatting. And they bring a minimum of 20 people. Yes. And then they pretty much bring every officer that's on duty to surround the area. They block off the streets. They have to patrol the streets, get evac evacuate the surrounding houses. Because they are under the impression that this is something serious. Did you it say what he was swatted SWAT for? You don't, it didn't say. You don't bring the SWAT team out. For something that's just like, oh, this dude's being a piece of shit. Uh, the caller told the police um, he, his name was Kyle, and he said that he 
shot his father multiple times with an AK-47 and tied his mother up and bound her in the garage. Yeah. What? <laughs> Police called the home before entering. Father answered, um, and he was told to come out. Uh, guns raised. Everyone had to evacuate the house, and um, the situation was fine. So, yeah, basically... Uh, the guy, the guy, the guy, Booga's name is Kyle, and the guy yeah. said Booga killed his father and tied his mother up in the garage, and then when Booga's dad came out, his mother and Booga himself, or Kyle, I, ever, like, I guess they were just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Jesus. I wonder I mean, if they... Thank, thank God that they, you know, called the house first. Oh, yeah. You know? And didn't just, like, kick open the fucking door. No, that's insane. Let me see if, uh, surrounded the house. Hey, he's in Pennsylvania. He lives in PA somewhere. Huh. Potts Grove Township. Huh. Potts Grove, that's by Philly. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say if they got the person who did it. I'm assuming they'd go to the per- they'd be able uh, well, if they didn't- They'd probably it, be able to trace it. Unless he was using, like, a burner phone. A burner or a cell phone. They're super hard to trace. Uh, well, the cell phones aren't as bad because, I mean, like, you can- you can easily pull up, like, GPS stuff. I'm assuming he probably took the stream down where he- his dad told him to come outside. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I don't have know you ever seen there, things from, like, like um- uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Ice Poseidon. Like, have you heard of that streamer? Mm -mm. He's Matt, mainly an IRL streamer. Here you go, here you go. He's been swatted multiple times. Yeah, I'm just weak now. Do you have bandies or any heals? Of your solo. I got one like, so weak, bro. It's Literally crazy. So weak. Okay. Because Literally like screaming. he's just. You know, you would hear knocking at the door, Dad, and it would just I sound like, you know, right, we're not any other things, so you would just get up, hey. go to the door, Stuff's coming open it up, and there's I, a I, police I, I got officer there, that's strong. I'm literally, I have no heals. Shockwave, out of zone. And then, like, he's just, like, nice. in there in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, you could see it on stream, it's like, yeah, this is what I'm just doing. You know? Jesus. I wasn't doing anything. How, how is being, so, how is that even a thing? Like, who the fuck decided to make up, like, you know, I'm gonna call the police on a random streamer and tell them that they're a mass murderer. Like, Fucking what the Edge hell? Fucking Edgelord's piece is a shit. That's who do it. Like, People that's insane. People think it'll be fucking funny. Blows my mind. How people think that's like a... How it's a fucking thing. joke. Yeah, my I god. I don't understand. Well, that's all that I had. Um... Yeah, that's all I got, too. Let's go to releases. I'll release you tonight. All right, so... On the 13th... Uh, nothing really comes out. On the 14th... Nothing really comes out. On the 15th, <laughs> nothing really comes out. This, is, really, this is usually a pretty low time period for games, though, isn't it? Like... Yeah. Until we get to October, because then you have the holidays and shit. Let's see, Grandia HD collection comes out on uh, the 16th. That's interesting. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist comes out on the Switch on the 20th. What is that? It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! game. It's actually how I got started on Twitch. Is it... Like a card game? Or... I yeah. Didn't, I didn't say Siri. Why'd you just activate I am Patrick yeah, Swayze comes out. It's a documentary about Patrick Swayze. It looks like the next real big game that comes out is on the 27th when Control comes out. Walking Dead Season 9 comes out on the 20th. Oh my god, is that show done yet? Oh fuck, Astral Chain comes out this month. I've only, only seen that. Uh, I've only seen the first episode. Well, part like, the first like 10 minutes of the first episode because my wife was like, this is stupid. Yeah, that's the same thing with me. 13 Reasons Why Season 3 starts the 23rd of this month. 13 Reasons Why is really good. Sure. Wow. I'll take your word for it. 
about uh, suicide and stuff. It's it's super dark. Um, they had to add a disclaimer at the beginning of every episode that if you are feeling thoughts, trigger warning, triggers and stuff like that, do not watch the show. Um, as it could potentially push you over the edge, and if you are, you do have thoughts and things along those lines, please call the suicide hotline immediately. Yeah. Um, it, it talks Don't about a wrong. lot of good things. Um, it's a, it's a good show. Oh man, my freaking back. Yeah, there really isn't anything. No, there's really nothing. Blair Witch, the thirtieth. Yay. That, that that trailer looked decent. That that was like one of the the creepy ones at uh E3, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the one that I thought that I had that s half the second uh, you thought we thought was um Silent Hill. I thought it was Silent Hill. Like I had a split second in the back of my mind that was like is this fucking Silent Hill? Is this Silent Hill bullshit? I love it. Dude, that crowd would have went like, no. and that crowd would have went nuts. That crowd would have went nuts. <laughs> Motherfucker, you would have heard me go nuts. Oh, yeah, I, I would have heard you all the way over I here. I probably would have screamed so loud you would have heard it <laughs> at your house. Yeah, no, that, that that would have been ridiculous. I would have ran up and down the street screaming that Silent Hill's back. Oh, uh, last piece of news, too. Um, Disney Plus and Hulu, you can get both for fourteen ninety nine. Yay. If anyone cares. Oh, and don't you also get ESPN Plus as well? Yeah, you do get ESPN Plus. You, you get three pretty big things for fourteen ninety nine, fifteen bucks. ESPN uh, so Plus essentially... doesn't really have much. No, it doesn't. Um, doesn't it have the UFC fights now though? Sometimes the smaller ones. That's what I thought. The stuff that's too big to be on Fox Sports One, and the stuff that isn't big enough to be on the pay per view. Yeah, that's true. But that's all I got. Uh, I think yep. that's a that's a cast. Yeah. That, that, that's the, that's the pod of the cast episode. The cast of the pod. Nine, or as I put, adult cam show, or the level unlock podcast? Question mark. It's one of the two. It's, it's hard to just, it's two. hard to decipher which one it is. It's. It, yeah, it, we, it could be either or at any moment. It rides that moments. line of like a cam show versus like, is it really a podcast? I don't know. It's it's too hard. I mean, to we tell. do talk about dicks a lot. We do, balls, vaginas, penises. It's. All that good stuff. Yeah, we, we come out. It's definitely not a PG PG thirteen uh, podcast. This is TVMA all day. It is hundred percent. We say the F word too many times. Um, so Walker, what's coming up? What's coming up? Um, hopefully I hear back from one of these positions. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, gotta keep my eating healthy so my fat ass can lose some weight before I go home. And. Uh, I saw how you brought in that, like, Pizza Hut, by the way. <laughs> you saw the, the Pizza set, Hut? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw the fucking Pizza Hut as you're talking about eating healthy. Don't think it's I didn't see time. it, bitch. <laughs> I thought, I thought was... yesterday was your last cheat day. Yesterday was the last cheat day, and so was the day before that, but today really is, though. Today, today 100% is the last cheat day. No more. No yeah, more sure for a couple is. days. You said that yes. No more for a couple days. I like that. <laughs> no, no more for at least three days. Maybe two. I'm, I'm going to shoot for three. Um, play some more games. I want to get back to the streaming. It's just because Nicole starts going the third, so it'll be easy to stream at nighttime, though, because as you can mm -hmm. see, I'm sitting in the dark right now because she's trying to go to bed. Um, so it's too hard to stream. Cause she's always like, you're yelling. You're talking too loud. That's all I hear. She's looking at me funny. Um <laughs> Maybe, uh, obviously, play some more Apex. Try the solo mode. See how fast I die. Um, see if I can hide until I'm, I come in second place. Yeah, there you go. Because there ain't no way I'm winning. But hey, you never know. I, I could get one out. Uh, yeah, you could pull up the dub. Maybe practice some more Overwatch so when I play with Schroeder on Thursday, I can do a little better. Uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, you can find me, Captain underscore Geach 15 everywhere. Captain Geach 15 on the Grammars. Uh, what about you, James? Hey, do you do you enjoy the smooth voice giving advice and watching me do monotonous things for about three hours at a time? I do. Then you should stop by my Twitch, twitch.tv slash people eight studios, where you can watch me play fucking Yakuza 6 and melt my brain <laughs> while doing it. 
Um, we still got a lot to go on there. Yay. Because I've fully given up on Metal Wolf Chaos. Fuck that game. It's a piece of shit. I didn't talk about that. <laughs> No, I played Metal Wolf Chaos. Fuck that game. It's a piece of shit. I don't like it. I'm glad I didn't spend $500 for an original Xbox in that game back in the day. Um, it said I spent $25. Um, not a huge fan. Um, if you like the smooth voice talking with another person, you could take a look at youtube.com slash people at studios where we play video games like... Yakuza 0. I can never get away from the Yakuza games. Uh, and Final Fantasy 7. We're still in Midgar in Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> it's like the actual think, game is coming out next just, year. Yeah. You're recreating so, it. Or, sorry, uh, Dummy Parent 1. Is that what you mean? That game that's coming out? Exactly. Did you hear about that? No, I don't know what you're talking about. So, Amazon was running a thing where it was buy one, get one 50% off on a bunch of different games, even pre-orders. Um, and one of the things was Final Fantasy VII, but it didn't say Final Fantasy VII Remake. It said Dummy Parent 1. <laughs> I guess you, I guess you I'm can like, get... oh, my, my favorite game of all time, Dummy Parent 1. I guess you can consider Barrett a pretty shitty parent. He lets his daughter to get in some bad, mad danger, so you never know. Yeah, we just got to the part where... Uh, Cause you, um, you've seen his daughter, right? Barrett's daughter. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah, I guess he can become a pretty shitty parent. You never know. Well, um, like, okay, so where we're at is uh the plate just fell on uh on the town. Uh okay. After okay. Uh, Eris gets taken away. Yeah. Eris Coon gets taken away. <sighs> yep, yep, um, yep, 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 yep. So we're still pretty pretty early on in the game. It's like you're um, it's like you're playing out the game that's coming out. <laughs> that's literally the same thing. Pretty much. You're taking um, your time. You're getting you're getting good, son. Might as well. You come I'm gonna be fucking. Did you get to the point where you become a cross dresser yet? No, no, you're getting. Yeah, there. no, we're past that. Are you? Where you we're became... past that. Yeah, we we entered the creepy sex dungeon. Yeah, Eris you... got taken away again. Where you were a hooker. Uh, by that air shift. Yeah. Okay, I know you're talking about now. No, prostitute, not a hooker. A prostitute. Yeah, sorry. An yeah, escort. Cause she's the, she's the chosen one or whatever. She's the ancient. Yeah. So she got taken away by Shinra. Yep. Uh. And uh. Yeah, so that's going on. Uh, yeah, you can find that on Wednesdays. You can watch Yakuza 0 right around uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see Yakuza 0 be popped up. And Fridays, you could watch uh, Final Fantasy 7 around 3 p.m. on Fridays. So keeping that train going. Actually, I'm recording tomorrow. Or later today, I guess, because it's like 1 o'clock. <laughs> but yeah, then that you could true. also... Um, Check me out, see what I retweet, and post memes on twi twitter.com slash people eight studios or at people eight ten. Ninety percent of my Twitter is you retweet and shit. It's funny. Oh yeah, because there's a lot of funny shit on Twitter, man. There is. I follow the best shit posters. Good. Hashtag salty is cancelled. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I was petting my dog Cyrus. Can't see him because he blends in. Yeah, he he's, does. He's right there. You can't see him. You can't see him. <laughs> Anywho, focus. Nope. There we go. Yeah, there uh, we thank go. you for everybody who's listening, keeps listening, and stays listening to the Level Unlocked podcast. Uh, you can find us everywhere. Audio only version coming to you tomorrow because I'm going to upload it tonight. Uh, Level Unlocked podcast. Podbean. Com. Anywhere podcasts are available now, including iHeartRadio. I should have mm -hmm. had my auto tuner on. I, I did didn't that. for that. I did. I did that. You did. I. I did that. And you I also. Got us uh, the radio. And you, honestly, our views probably helped because you put tags on our iTunes, which I didn't. I didn't think mm -hmm. that, I didn't know that was a thing. So Man, that's probably helped. We just changed the tags not too long ago, so I. Uh, mm, I put that on there. Good Baby. Shit. Baby. So make sure you follow us. Uh, listen, like, love everywhere you listen to the podcast. Hey, email us. Level yeah, where podcast can they email us? At Gmail dot com we are going to be featured february 9th 2020 for an entire week we got a couple months left but it's something to look forward to for a one-year anniversary half a year half a year baby we got this um we've been doing it strong most consistent thing i've ever done in my life other than being married um mm -hmm. uh make sure you having kids and having kids and being in a relationship in general and being Past alive that, being alive yeah i guess Probably I've, I've been alive for 30 dogs. years yeah 
Okay, we're, we're getting too uh, <laughs> logistical here. <laughs> I was more so comparing it to like my my fitness life and stuff like that, where it's like I've never been consistent with it. But James ruined it. Uh, of course. That's make sure you follow us at Twitter at what James? LVL Unlocked Pod. That's LVL Unlocked Pod. And thank you from everybody, the Unlock Nation, the Lock Pickers, the Logan Paulers, the, the no, Jake the, Paulers. Lo, the Jake Paulers, the Low Gang, Jake Paulers. Thank you everyone for hanging out for listening. Uh, we will see you next week. Deuces. Hi. Ah, oh, fucking A, my dude.